The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, blank. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host um scotty german aka scooter mcfuckstick you're sure doing about terrific that? Are you sure about that shut up i'm sick uh and alongside I'm, me as usual I'm i have two you, scotty. <laughs> two excellent stand-up comedians first he is the 1984 kingman county t-ball defensive player of the year award winner mr jeremy joseph <clears throat> he's the only one that's not sick Yes, and uh, I am legally obligated to tell you, Scotty, that if I should uh, happen to get sick because uh-huh. I'm here, yeah. uh, I am legally allowed to stab you in the throat. Oh, fuck. Okay. And if I don't get sick, uh, I am legally allowed to stab you in the throat. <laughs> okay, uh, fair So enough. it's uh, either it's a win-win. Way. It's a it's win-win. win-win. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it is a win-win. Uh, but anyways, uh, not only him, but we have none other than the old uh, funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. The 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. He is none other than the wreck, Mr. Derek Alders. You know, yeah. so last year. Yeah. Uh, he's fucking old. You know, Scotty, it is, uh, we're getting around the holiday. Yeah. What? what did you do? I didn't do anything. I went completely out. There oh, I am. There you are. <laughs> I'm just pushing what? buttons over here. Sorry. Yeah, you fucking cocksucker. Sorry, I was trying Best to interrupt you. episode ever. <laughs> Jeez, you're fucking crushing it right now. <laughs> God, you couldn't be doing any better if you were in a car are, accident. Are you confusing sick and stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. God, as I, as I was I, saying, I didn't think that was going to do anything. It is the uh, holiday season, and I know sometimes for some people, uh, it can get a little depressing around the holidays. Mm-hmm. I just wanted you to know, Scotty, if if you get to feeling that way. Uh, Christmas lights make a terrific noose. Oh, does it really? Yes. If you, especially if you get the big old glass ones. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. If you tie it tight enough and you jump off that chair hard enough, it'll break and stab you in the neck. Absolutely. I've so, heard that. Yeah. Just uh, something to think about, Scotty. Yeah, I figured. Uh, yeah. Especially before you go pushing fucking buttons again. <laughs> You're already pushing my goddamn buttons. We're I fucking know. two minutes in here. I was turning off a mic that we don't use. God. Sorry. Mine. Fuck. I'll go home. No, Let's go. No, we're good. Uh, but anyways, yes, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports. And this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Oh, we had Thanksgiving over the holiday weekend. Uh, I mean, it is kind of a holiday weekend. Uh, but we had uh, a lot of sports go on during that holiday. We have uh, real shit, horse shit, overrated, underrated questions and preguntas in another uh, segment. What's in the box? Followed by a draft and, as always, a shitty situation. But we got to find out how that Thanksgiving trip or day or weekend or whatever you want to call it went. <clears throat> so uh, this is our week, week recap. And Derek. What? What do you do? Uh, ate a lot of food. Surprise, I'm fat. No um, shit. So went down to my in-laws for Thanksgiving mm-hmm. um, and went back by myself. My wife stayed down there to hang out with her mom for the weekend. Fucking score. So well, not so much a score because that's six hours of driving. And driving back it gets boring when you have no cell phone signal. But it's silent. Yeah, with mm-hmm. deer. With lots and lots of deer. Concentration. I had a fucking, yeah, in a camp. I had a goddamn hawk fly out in front of me. <laughs> you have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So that was, uh, that was okay. I was going to say, this sounds pretty fucking exciting. <laughs> I know. That was you got a dodge exciting. deer and you got raptors swooping at you? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, the, the big thing was the day before I judged or not judged, I hosted, uh, I was judging all of them secretly, sure. yeah. but, uh, I hosted the 2022, They'll which never be as good as you, uh, I know, never. I actually know. as good as Jeremy, uh, they'll, they will someday be better than you, but not as ever as good as Jeremy. Oh, okay. Well, that's a nice thing to say, Scotty. Yeah. yeah. 
I agree, but <laughs> but still, Scotty, that that's a hell of a thing for you to say. I know mm-hmm. it's true. So uh, Eric von Riker was this year's winner. Yeah, and he's been a guest on the show. So there's another laughing on the sidelines with the championship right Twice. there. Yeah, yeah that's, that's two of them. That's been a long time coming. That's and, right. uh, I feel like he's had his speech written for like three years. Probably, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, um, he. Uh, I can tell you this that. He may be the funniest person in Wichita right now, but uh, I still whipped his ass in fantasy football. This <laughs> <season>. So <laughs> he dropped David Montgomery, scoreboard jackass, and you cheesehead motherfucker. Our, our good friend Steve Peters. Have fun with your kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, it's, it's yours. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, our good fee, our good friend Steve Peters uh, took fourth. Yeah. Yeah. He um, or well, there was a tie for third. Technically, you could say fifth, but it's fourth. Okay. Um. Yeah, he took uh, fourth, and he went way short. I heard. Yeah, he did. Like he was so. I think in his own head. Like whenever I announced who was coming to the stage, I asked if I could call, bring him up. He went last, which sucks. Mm-hmm. So all you already get in your own head when you're going. Last. Sure. Sure. And I asked if I could bring him up as little Stevie Peters. Oh, <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah. And he goes, absolutely. You're bringing everybody else up like they're a goddamn second baseman. <laughs> Do you have to be blind to be introduced that way? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but that's that's what I wanted to introduce him as. And then uh, he would not let me. Oh. So, But as I'm like, all right, you guys ready for your next one? It's the last one, folks. Keep that energy up. Give it up. And I look, and that fucker is right next to me. And I'm <laughs> oh like, Jesus God. Christ. He was so worried about running the light and going long. He went four minutes short. <laughs> you Which get, is generally not good it's not, yeah not, judges not don't best. like that they're like yeah. if you don't have it polished to where you can get it to the nine minute light at least yeah you don't you, shouldn't be here you get 10 minutes yeah and he, right and he did six of them and i'm like yeah, i know he's better than that right so to get fourth and fucking only do half the time that everybody else did that's pretty good yeah but uh and, I, and i'm proud of him for that and uh levi uh who is like a they call him Steve I, Steve and Levi together. Yeah. Uh, but Levi actually ended up going 30 seconds over. Oh. Uh, yeah. And the funny thing about that was we have our pre-show meeting, and I know Levi is not- a little notorious for going long. And so uh, I was like, hey, guys, make sure you don't go over your time. You do get penalized, Levi. And, <laughs> and I was like, in the pre-show, after the shows, I was like, I fucking told you in the pre-show. For those of you guys who don't know who Levi is, what we're talking about Levi. Levi yeah. is the sole person that was uh, the one behind the, I guess, behind the scenes for Laughing on the Sidelines Live. He was in charge of all the cameras. He, he was man in the ones and twos. He was man in the ones and twos. Yeah. God, he was so. on the show. He was like counting minutes per, or laughs per minute and stuff and yeah. i'm like god damn i i do not admit one guy was puking oh god so i had some good in between jokes uh i was pretty proud of the three that i like liked. like laughing so hard he was puking or yeah. no it was right right before he went up he said he was oh you uh he was nervous he said he had a sinus infection but i've never that, vomited my ass off with a sinus that's infection. your Neither nose that's yeah. not your yeah. stomach yeah he's so, a puss believe it or not your nose and your throat they're connected who uh yeah. may I ask who it was? No. No. I don't right. want to give that part away. Um but Pukey McGee. I'll tell you. Yeah, Oddly yeah. enough, that's his kind of his side his uh that's usually his closer. Yeah. When he throws up on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> now the Gallagher's dead, it's open right. game. Sure. Yeah. You beat me to it. I was like, yeah. this guy's replacing Gallagher over yeah. here. Yeah. So uh, I yeah I was trying to do like jokes in between everybody like uh-huh. about either about them or about their set and <laughs> like the first the second guy that gets up there is talking about like just being gender fluid and then he talked about like he's getting pegged and eating ass and all this shit and oh, stuff. He was, was one of my Scotty? friends. Yeah, I was gonna say he yeah. was one of my friends. Scotty voted for him. Oh. Uh, so sure, it makes sense. So I got up there after he got done and I, I had a, a towel with me and I kind of look at the mic and I. Wipe the mic off. And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, sorry, guys. I think this guy got gender fluid all over this microphone. And I was like, does anybody else feel like brushing their teeth right now? <laughs> and then uh, another a lady had come up and said that one of her jokes was about like just a bunch of Tinder dates she'd been on. And one of her jokes was about how she once uh, went on a Tinder date with a guy that got in a fight at a bar over Edgar Allan Poe. And so after she gets off stage... Quote the Raven Nevermore. I said, uh, you know, I said, I think, keep going for so-and-so and and all their weird Tinder dates. I said, you know, I think I speak for everyone in this entire room when I say, you don't talk shit on Edgar Allan Poe! (laughs) Which I was pretty proud of that one. I thought that could go either really good or really bad. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, It went well. And then my favorite one that I had was there was some guy that was talking about Crips. 
Uh-huh. And he's like, oh. yeah, my buddy's like, you should throw up Crip. And, like, holds a C up like that, like the real right. small C with his fingers. And I was like, I'm pretty excited. I just learned that this meant Crip. And I, hope <laughs> I said, uh, I went to surprise my wife at work the other day. And when I walked in, she was doing that, pointing at me. And, like, all her friends were laughing. <laughs> and I was like... They must be bloods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so uh, those were a few of the good ones that I liked that I had in between. And that was really kind of difficult trying to come up with something on the fly each time. I'm no Jeremy Joseph. I can't do that every time. Yeah, yeah but you not have, many can. But you have all kinds of practice, you know, by doing this fucking show. No. Oh. No, I just – Jeremy does the heavy lifting. That's totally true. I, <laughs> uh, well, and, and Derek, I mean, he's here for both the first and second rehearsals. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Jeremy, I wouldn't really call this on the fly. This is a very scripted show. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you. So I did that. Uh, like Scotty said, I've been sick, mainly his bullshit. And then um, – <laughs> I designed our web page. Yeah. I've never done that before. No. So if it looks like shit, that's why. Yeah. Don't so. worry. I'll get back in there and I'll make it look nice and pretty. Uh, yeah, sure you will. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, I actually. Use GeoCities? Huh? GeoCities? Is yeah, that, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, no, yeah. It, uh, Perkins. Jeeves walked me through the whole thing. A lot of hyperlinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeeves, S. Yeah, Jeeves. He walked like, me nice. through everything. Uh, but no, I got to say, man, I'm actually very impressed. Uh, you can go to it now. There's, there's uh, Basically, it's a bunch of links <laughs> to take you to uh, <laughs> all, all other shit. All other shit. Uh, but it's laughing on the sidelines.com. That's actually a thing now, which is kind of neat. Merch, uh, if you click on the merch part, which is up in the top left hand corner, it says merch coming soon. Uh, that is true. Uh, we've got to be working on that. And you that guys will come both have soon. been to this site, right? Yeah. You think that's what got you sick? Maybe. Uh, maybe so. I think it's got a virus. So. It's, yeah. It does. It's yeah, got it a does. virus. Yeah. You're a shit programmer. No. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Derek and myself were blowing the same dude, and that's how why we are both sick. Uh, but yeah, uh, actually, in other news, I learned to suck my own dick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> like he said, we were blowing the same dude. <laughs> right. Uh, and, and you had to leave for uh, chapstick and mouthwash. Yeah, right? and uh, to go to good. the doctor. Yeah. Oh, that too. Yeah. Apparently, you gave you gave me an STD, Scotty. Uh, oh wow, that's from my mouth. That mm-hmm. is weird. That's a bad cold. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a be. real bad cold. Uh, that's got to be. That's one hell of a virus. Uh, but no, um, uh, had a great uh, Thanksgiving trip. I, I the same experience that Derek had. Uh, you went to my in laws too. No, I didn't. Oh. I went the other direction. You he went hit south. the beer. No, he <laughs> yeah, got close. Got Fucker. damn close. Fucker twice. It. Uh, one thing about taking the uh, Highway Fifty uh, <coughs> West. I know it doesn't stop. Uh, well, yeah, it doesn't. I don't, I don't know. There's a, there's a spot outside of Pratt where it intersects and there's a big sign. Highway 50 does not stop. Okay. So, all right. Thank God for yeah. the warning. Uh, but yeah, if you take highway 50 West, uh, to Western Kansas, it's a two lane highway, practically the whole way there. You go up to Hutchinson and go over and go West. And once you hit that two way highway, you legitimately have three towns that you are going to drive through in three hours. So it is very, very dark. And so deer are plentiful because it's out in the middle of nowhere and it's in the rut right now. So yeah, you got to be on, you know, you, you got fucking got to have your feelers out. When you say that, do you mean like dark, like brightness, lack of brightness, dark yes. or like Coen brothers? No, no, no. Uh, lack of brightness, dark. Okay. All right. When it's uh, sunset, there's not a whole lot of light. That's right. Gotcha. So you got to be on, uh, you know. On the edge so of it's your not seat. like it's not like one continuous Jeselnik joke. No. Okay. And, and then when you say the deer and yet and rut, you mean they be fucking, right? They be fucking. Okay. That's they're, what I well, they're looking to fuck. It's, um, it's deer be fucking season. Deer be fucking mm-hmm. season. So, yeah, and they do be fucking sometimes. They sure do. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can catch Very them. prolific breeders, actually. Yeah, yeah you absolutely. Can catch, you can catch them outside. Yeah, I watch them on the hub all the time. How about that? Um, I want to throw some hoof. <laughs> <laughs> And it's the, the nice thing about deer is they've got all those points on their antlers. They can fucking multiple bitches at the same time. That's totally true. Uh, t- <laughs> I'll, I'll tell this. I I got I got stuck in my own head over what I'm going to say here in a minute. <laughs> so I didn't actually hear anything that you just said. I'm sure it was funny. You, you used to be the funniest person. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyways, uh, can can I tell you a real quick story? Yeah, about yeah, let's con- go. A conversation that I had. I don't know. Here. We are on pins and needles. A few weeks ago. Uh, somebody brought up the subject of Lyme disease, uh-huh. which is spread by deer ticks. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And I was able to just keep a straight face when somebody asked why they called them deer ticks. And I said, well, they have cloven hooves. <laughs> and, <laughs> and never once let him in on that that was bullshit. <laughs> they actually have markings on their back to kind of look like antlers, but they... 
They do not have hooves. But as uh, <laughs> far as I know, that guy still believes that shit, and he's been telling everybody, and, and I hope so. I really hope so. That's great. Yeah. I hope he listens to this show. No way he does. <laughs> okay. No way he's well, smart enough to figure out a phone. Okay. Deers with Tourette's have deer ticks, too. They do. Yeah, they yeah. sure do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, as uh, Derek also said, yeah, I'm I'm very sick, so I'm gonna try and and try to cough away from the microphone. So I do apologize. We this you this show rest that voice. This show is so mm. important to us that we are gonna put this on no matter what for you. Not really. Um, I think it's more for you, Scott. Right? Yeah, it really is. Uh, but anyways, passing people on a two lane highway when it's like there's no lights that really sucks uh, because you're scared you're gonna hit uh, one of those fucking uh, those deer ticks that uh, you're talking about. I was up to 100 mile an hour with with hooves. Yeah. yeah, if you want to, if you hit them, you want to go through them, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I legit was going 100 mile an hour <laughs> past some motherfuckers on the two lane. You, I don't you aim for the target behind the deer, right? Six inches behind, right? Like a um, Bruce Lee punch. But it was really fun. I got to hang out with a lot of family, which was really cool to see. Unfortunately, I I fucking hate saying it. It's my grandfather's probably his last Thanksgiving. So that was really tough. Um, so a lot of the family came from all over the fucking place. And you I know was, how many times I said that about my dog? That's true. <laughs> Is it just because they don't want to celebrate it's, it anymore? No. no. Like, I, yeah, fuck, I, no. Hate the, I hate all you fucking people. <laughs> I'm never celebrating Thanksgiving again with you guys. Look, oh, it's no. been 90 years. I'm going to finally say it. I fucking hate turkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to come out and say it right now. Your dressing sucks. <laughs> it was really cool because... <laughs> If you would say it to one of them, I would be totally okay with it. I would be on his side. Uh, but uh, anyways, it was actually really cool, though, because I was able to show, like, a lot of members of my family, like, they have no idea what we do. They have no idea, like, they don't follow TikTok. They don't know that we're on a show that a lot of people listen to. They have no are, idea. Are you trying to make this your last Thanksgiving, too? Yeah, they they they're cl- yeah, sort of. So I, I ended up showing them pictures of, like, all of us at the live event and, uh-huh. like, aunts and uncles and shit were like... Holy shit! Like I'm like, yeah. like that's Jeremy Joseph. That, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got a T-shirt that says I heart him. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit! But I've been meaning to do something about. There was a picture, and it was just a, a, a little corner of it. There, there were there was a bunch of guys that we I hung out with. You guys, you guys left early. Derek got drunk and left early at the live show. Uh-huh. Jeremy stuck around and and he you know eventually left. But I ended up hanging out with. Two, nope, I'm still there. Oh, you're still there? Huh? Okay. <laughs> Never did. I ended Never up hanging left. out with, uh, obviously, Austin from, from St. Louis, uh, but two other uh, guys from Wisconsin. Yeah. Didn't, that, what were their names? It was uh, Stinky and St- yeah. Weasel. Never yeah. fucking messaged us. I want them to message us. So it, it, message us, would you please? Uh, well, what does that tell you, Scotty? They don't yeah, like they us anymore. to meet us, and they do not want to have any contact <laughs> yeah, with us. Yeah, that's it. So yeah. They're, like, they're like, nope, okay, or, we got, or we got you, one. They've messaged me several times. Probably. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, messages. Uh, but anyways, that was that was my Thanksgiving. It was a great time. Everybody got home safe, but now we're all sick. So there you go, Jeremy. Right. How was yours, buddy? Well, I'll get the sad stuff out of the way. Had my aunt's funeral uh, on yeah. Tuesday. Um, Thanks God, it wasn't on Thanksgiving. That'd been kind of awkward. Yeah, it was. It was a very nice ceremony. Um, unfortunately, I've got cousins and stuff that. Unfortunately, funerals are the only time that I see them mm. anymore. I'm, yeah. I I have some some first cousins who. I literally had not seen since my grandmother's funeral, and that was almost 10 years ago. So uh, at least I think that was them. They may look completely different now. I don't know. They hired, um, they hired stunt doubles. I mean, if you could, wouldn't you? Wouldn't well, you? I know the one can afford it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you could, wouldn't you? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I don't want to go with that and, shit. And the one uh, wore, wore shit and slacks. And uh, I was like, wrong, wrong celebration, dude. Uh, the, okay, this funeral, okay, it was, it was pretty brief, yet it, there were three officiants at yep. it, three sure. ministers. Um, one of them, if you took all of the stereotypical qualities of a cult leader uh-huh. and mashed them up into one, you got this guy. Fuck yeah. He, he looked very sharp. Uh-huh. Um, and I don't mean like he was dressed nice. I mean like he was pointy. Like <laughs> his elbows and shoulders and knees and shit. He was about that big around. Uh, Brittle bone probably disease. Probably early 30s. Ponytail. Soul patch. Played guitar. Perfect. That's... Uh, and, and, and it's... I just wanted to say to him, you know we're all laughing at you, right? <laughs> and everything that we're laughing about you about... 
you could change <laughs> with scissors and a razor, and you wouldn't be a fucking laughing stock anymore. But I'm, I'm sure he's a very nice guy. Uh, at the burial, he apparently thought it was uh, his concert. Uh, oh, he yeah. sang a very nice song, but boy, did he get into it. Oh, I'm sure. Um, was he, he like, like that? smashed a guitar at the end and like kick over the amp and uh, kicked over a couple of headstones? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Dude had a fucking kick on him. I'm serious. <laughs> like that. If you, can, if you can kick over a big old granite headstone, goddamn. <laughs> That's like why the, we didn't fuck with him. Right. Like that drummer that does like all the tricks when sh- and shit whenever he's drumming. <laughs> Just kicks the head. Cunningham, we love you. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> this, this was a, uh, a guitarist, Scotty. But, I know. Uh, but, yeah. So he's nothing like a drummer. Throwing up devil um, horns. You're like, was, hey, wrong spot to throw up the devil horns, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these are these are angel wings. <laughs> it's like <laughs> uh, so. Then uh, a couple of days later, then turned around, went back out there for Thanksgiving. It's kind to of the a, cemetery. And, yep, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Jeez. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like free table with all those laid over headstones. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> Plus, that might be her last Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good chance, guys. <laughs> uh, oh Jesus. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I guess it depends on how long till they pick those headstones up. Because uh, if they're still laid over come next year, I mean, free table, right? I mean, that's that's the hardest part of organizing any event is the table. This is so fucked up. I know. I don't know why he kicked them over. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we, oh, we had Jesus. a really nice Thanksgiving. Uh, the recently deceased aunt, um, a couple of, of her children, their families came to it. So uh, it's by far the most time I've spent around them in five years. Probably hadn't seen them for five years, and then I've seen them three or four times in the last couple of weeks. So wow. that, was, uh, that was weird. Um, but it was a very nice Thanksgiving. I got a new air compressor. Ooh, How about right. that? Um, Makes a lot of noise. Well... When it runs, I suppose, yeah. but it doesn't make noises like my old one did. Oh, uh, had an air leak, and I thought it was from where I keep the hose, you know, put into it. So I went and got professional crimping done on the hose to try and seal that up, and it's still hissing. So I took everything off of it and like fucking tightened everything down. Still hissing. Turned out I had a little pinhole through the tank on the bottom. Oh, and I was gonna weld it shut and uh, got online to see just how you do that. Uh, turns out you don't. Um, <laughs> that's a that's a recipe for a fucking bomb, is yeah. what that is, it turns out. Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why it wouldn't just blow the welding off, but apparently they rust from the inside out, and, you know, you're supposed to drain it like once every six weeks, and I believe I did it twice in seven years. <laughs> um, so, uh, and here's, here's how much I have my wife snowballed. Uh, she is under the impression that that's something I need. Oh, an air compressor. Like I'm just constantly using air tools out in the garage or something. I, I air up my tire when it goes flat. And, uh, sometimes I'll take an air blower and blow things around. Uh, other than that, I pretty well use cordless tools for just about everything, but she's like, well, you better get online and get a new one. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I, I like to think, what if that hiss was just a Twist snake my underneath the air compressor? What if a snake got in there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. While I had it all disassembled. Yeah. Yeah. This, this air compressor has a mm-hmm. rattle. Yeah. Right. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> what if <laughs> Scotty you want an air compressor? Nope. Well, no, it's good. a good thing I didn't weld it then. Yeah. Uh, so um, he bite you. I need to send a big shout out to uh, my old uh, high school, Cunningham High School, mm-hmm. won state football championship this hey, last. Hey, congratulations! Weekend. Was it two A, three, six man? Oh, gotcha! So, uh, when I was there, we played eight man. That's. Which okay, well, that's because you eight. counted as two people. You were sure. a big guy. Holy <laughs> shit, six man. Okay, here's here's. I wish we'd have had that. That would have been. It looks fucking fun as hell. Eight man is is played like regular football. Same right. rules. Sure. You, yeah, there's two less offensive linemen, and you know there's not wide receivers. There's two tight ends, uh, a center, two guards, two tight ends, two running backs, and a quarterback. That's standard formation. Every now and then, if you want to get cute, you'd send a running back out wide but but for the most part that's standard formation um mostly running in it uh six man has some rule changes uh is it three mississippi rush no 
That I'm not for sure about. Oh, I, I was making a joke. This is maybe a real thing. <laughs> okay. There are no ineligible receivers. Okay. Everybody can go out for a pass. Perfect. The other thing is, and, and I found this a, an interesting wrinkle that might make it fun. Before the ball can pass the line of scrimmage, there has to be a clean exchange, either a handoff, a pitch, or a pass behind the line of scrimmage. So if you want to throw the ball downfield, you've got to pitch it to the running back so he can throw it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Which m- might work better because when you have schools that small, you know, basically anybody of any size is on the line. So uh-huh. by the time you get to quarterback, they usually don't have big enough hands to to throw the ball very effectively. Uh-huh. So if you can pitch it to somebody and let them do it, uh, yeah, they won pretty handily. And there was some, some long passing plays, which was never a thing back in my day. Holy shit. But, that's uh, cool. like Yeah. It. So that, I believe that's uh, our first athletic state championship in anything. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. When I was a junior, we won uh, Quiz Bowl State Championship. I know, but, but, uh, but uh, six-man football championship, that's like a participation trophy for being shitty. I No, not in, not in Kansas because there are – I mean, there's a lot more of those schools. I didn't realize that. Than there is anything yeah. else. Okay. There's little, you know, 100, 100 or under. How many six-man football teams do you think they have in the state of Ohio? Don't care. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> Just care. Just a question. I'm gonna 58. Go with, I'm going to go with zero. It, it's okay. enough to where there's two divisions, a north and a south division, gotcha. to where there's two state champions. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so so that was pretty cool. And then, um, okay, had something happen yesterday, I guess it was. Okay. Okay, I, it's a pretty well-known fact on this show that I've been doing the DDP yoga for oh, yeah. the yeah, last yeah, yeah. six months now. Yeah. And, you know, I used to be in constant pain, mm-hmm. but slowly over time as I've been doing it, that pain has gone away, like not enough to where I went, oh God, the pain's gone. I just really didn't notice it. So I didn't realize that I've really been kind of in tune with my body and when things feel out of place. And yesterday morning I wake up and I've got a pain in my back, like middle back, uh, kind of off to the side a little bit, but, and I could tell it wasn't just like a sore muscle or a pulled muscle. It felt there was like a hitch when I twist. Mm-hmm. And so I knew it was something was out of alignment. So I made an appointment with my chiropractor, which I normally don't endorse. I think most chiropractors are fucking crooks. I've actually been to four or five of them in my life. They all want to put you on a long treatment plan. Sure. Uh, one of them conned me out of, this was five years ago, conned me out of, uh, I, have, I, I have good insurance, so they really take advantage of me. I pay $20 copay each visit. One guy I conned me out of $800 out of pocket. Wow. Not to mention whatever the fuck he charged my insurance company <clears throat> and didn't do any good. So anyways, I go in, man, uh, you know, do all the insurance shit and they x-ray my, my back and uh, waiting for the doctor to come in and he comes in and, and shows me the x-ray and he goes, you've got a rib that's out of place, which... Trying to I didn't realize. Dick. I know what's yeah. going on. Yeah, you're trying to get it removed, aren't you? No, let's got to go with you. Oh. You'll get fucking. You'll get sick. <laughs> I didn't even think about this. <laughs> Damn it! Fucking Marilyn Manson over here. That's right. I, I I didn't realize that was a thing. Apparently, it's a lot more common than you'd think, and you could see it very obviously on the on the X-ray, mm-hmm. and because uh, like there was that much more space between <laughs> two of my ribs on my right side than there were in between any other ribs. So, uh, anyways, he goes, that's going to be no problem. I can pop that right back into place. Oh. Oh, uh, God. God. Didn't, didn't hurt at all. He just, it was just kind of a, and that was it. Yeah. But he hmm. goes, we need to talk about your spine. Uh, apparently, I had been to this chiropractor back in 2013 was the last time that I was at this guy. I, I had kind of picked out a guy who I thought I had never been to before uh-huh. just because I knew the rest of them were crooks. Turned, this guy I kind of thought was too. I had forgotten about him. though. Um, anyways, uh, he goes, uh, here's your x-ray now. And he showed me my x-ray from 2013. And holy shit, back in 2013, it looked like a fucking roller coaster track. Really? My spine did. And he's like, right now, if it weren't for, I've got two bone spurs on my, uh, on my C4 and C5 yeah. up in my neck. Um, he goes, if it weren't for the bone spurs, uh, I would like submit this x-ray to like textbooks to show what a picture perfect spine nice. should look like. Cause this is, I mean, he, he showed me compared it to his back x-ray and it's much more in line than, 
than mine, or mine is much more than his, and he gets his adjusted like every week by professional chiropractors. Holy shit! So, uh, yeah, uh, normally I don't sit there and just endorse the shit out of DDP yoga, but when you have a guy like me who has no more back pain, not to mention I don't take blood pressure medication anymore. Oh wow! I'm off my blood pressure medication, so. Yeah, you guys should get on this shit. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations. If, if for no Jeremy. other reason than, uh, I mean, I, I kind of knew that was the whole reason that DDP set the whole thing up was because he'd had back injuries and yeah, back yeah, surgeries. Yeah. Uh, and he talks about how, you know, it's all about strengthening the core and then lengthening the spine. Yeah, and the other man. Everything that you you crunch, you stretch back out then, and apparently it's done the trick for me. Good for you. Not, and you look for great. my fucking ribs. And, and you look great, too. Well, you oh, know. He's going to suck uh, a dick. No. Yeah, I'm I just know. trying I to. I told you about what I'm going to do. I'm going to stab you in the fucking neck. I know. Or stab you in the neck. One of the two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, good for you. Whether I'm, I do it with a knife or my dick. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. But no, uh, you know, the weight loss is great. Yeah. But the fact that I just feel so much better. Good for you. Is, is How about you, so Derek? You going to do that shit? Mm, I've, I've only done it like three times. I'm sure you have. That's why you're in such bad shape and why you look like shit. I've lost nine pounds, asshole. Oh, good for you. Uh, there is one <laughs> thing before we move on to <clears throat> the rest of the show. There is one God thing. I'm going to keep laughing at No, there's one thing. Actually, it involves you, Jeremy Joseph. There is something that you said on this show that uh, I, I have to commend you on uh, because you are 100% correct to the point where I texted that to you last night. Ron Swanson from Parks and Recreation is the best character of all time. Yeah. I 100% confirm that. When did 100%. you start watching? Uh, about a week and a half ago. He is the best character mm-hmm. of all time. No question. Zero fucks. Yep. That's right. Given. Love the guy. Love the guy. My idol. Yep. Okay. Uh, but now we get to move on to the rest of the show. we got a lot of stuff to talk about. But before we do that, we want to give a shout out to our sponsor. Which Untuck is- It T-shirts. No. Are you tired of just tucking in your T-shirts? <laughs> Untuck it. <laughs> You know? Yeah. 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 Who walks around with a tucked in t shirt anymore when you can just untuck it? Jerry exactly. Se- Jerry yeah. Seinfeld actually does. Well, he- I don't know what the fuck he's thinking about. He could just <laughs> untuck it. That's right. You know, they, they make a whole line where you can just untuck it. I un- actually prefer to it. tuck my t shirt. You know why? So I can keep my fly open so everybody can see my clean shaved balls. <laughs> From See what I did there, guys? Yeah. See, sure did. From Boom, I'm good. Manscaped.com. They make excellent products to help keep your downstairs like your butt, your balls, and your cock nice and groomed. Smoother than a cancer patient's head. That's exactly right. They make excellent products like their flagship product, the Blonde Mower 4.0, which has an adjustable LED light and a docking station. A lot of gay guys like those. Mm-hmm. Um, but they uh, that's w- that way you can But you don't it. have to be gay to enjoy it. You really <laughs> don't. You, in it fact, just uh, be a hobby. Be, be a straight guy that, uh, you know, it, it's good for your wife. Your wife enjoys to have your, you know, self-kempt, man. Be, be nice and groomed down there. It looks better if it's if it's short. Yeah, but wives are generally hard to dock with. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I was going to say, I can dock it's mine just fine. But that's just me. <laughs> tip to tip, do you? Yeah. <laughs> no, tip to clit. Uh, but anyways, uh, they have other products. Well, then that ain't going in anywhere. <laughs> that's the funniest joke I've ever had on this show. Uh, that's sad because yeah. it's bad. You kind of got to chuckle out of Derek. And <laughs> I know I did. No, it's because of something I said to my wife. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you that when you're done with this. Thing. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, but they have other products like the ball toner. You put those on your balls. You also put the ball deodorant to help them keep smelling good whenever you're in bad situations. Uh, but they have tons and tons of products that you need to go to manscape.com and use the promo code sidelines, get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out and lets manscape know that we are using their commercials and reading them word for word. I like, he always said ball deodorant to help you out when you're in bad situations yeah mm-hmm. like they wouldn't hijack that plane if your nuts didn't <laughs> yeah. stink so bad well i don't like, know if you knew this or not but uh ball deodorant makes you know kung fu <laughs> yeah <laughs> Krav Maga. Uh, Cap- uh, there, how Jeremy. sad does it make you when you see how much bigger your wife's clit is than your <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, not too bad all right i had uh, Her clit's huge Mm-mm. no it's normal size clit <laughs> My wife, uh, I was talk or I told her I'd bought her Christmas present. I said, "Well, I got you. I got your Christmas present ordered." And she's like, "Okay." I thought we weren't doing anything for Christmas. I said, "No." I said, "I don't want anything for Christmas." Mm-hmm. She guy said, uh, "I got you a nice big black dildo." <sighs> 
And and she goes, oh, because that's what I needed. I was like, I wasn't sure if you already had one or not. Uh, You're my old one? No. Oh, no. brand new one? I can't pry that thing out of your fist. <laughs> uh, so then I, uh, I said, hey, my wife or my mom had called and wanted to know what she wanted for Christmas. Uh, I told her, the uh, only thing you've been asking for is a butt plug. <laughs> and she's like, Jesus, thanks. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to get you a pacifier, some nose plugs, and an ear, some ear plugs, and we're going to make you the most buoyant wife this side of this Mississippi. <laughs> That's what they call yeah. airtight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. That'll keep her from getting sick. Yeah, that will. Absolutely. Abs- it sure will. Okay. But we had a lot of uh, sports going over the, the Thanksgiving holiday, but we would be not considered an actual comedy sports podcast <coughs> if we didn't talk about one thing that we hate talking about. Is this this U.S. Ninja Mutant Turtles? That's it. All right. I'm surprised they didn't put soccer in the fucking title, but they didn't. The United States National Men's Team. I think that's Ninja Mutant Turtles. It, it, I think it, that's the it, knockoff it might of the Teenage has Mutant well Ninja. Been. Now, they're like the GoBots for Ninja Turtles. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but they end up tying England uh, in, in the FIFA World Cup, and then they ended up beating Iran today. I'm glad so you that, said it right. They I, don't like that if you don't. I if, believe they what, tied Wales. Huh? In the first yeah. game, they tied Wales in the first game. And tied England. So they should be going to the yeah, they're next going. round. Yeah, they're going to the elimination round. They play uh, the Netherlands. So uh, they're going to get beat. Let's go Netherlands. I, I just love the fact that I, I saw so many people <laughs> on Facebook, these people who are like, no, I've been a soccer fan this whole time. Oh, you yeah. only become soccer fans at World Cup time. Yeah, yeah. It, it's who like just the Olympics. hyped up this fucking U.S.-England game only to have it in in a 0-0 zero, zero tie. Wait a minute. Zero to zero. That's not how I took it. That's not how I took this whole thing. We hate soccer here on the show. We really fucking do. It's the dumbest fucking sport. And that the fact that you call it a fucking sport actually sickens do me. Do you have you seen have you heard what they did at the World Cup? What the government of of Qatar did. No. Which is where it's at. No. They banned alcohol sales. That's retarded. Within 48 hours of the start. This is why soccer's stupid. Budweiser is a big fucking sponsor. No, Cutter's stupid. Oh, uh, they, they banned... It's pronounced Cutter. Whatever. Uh, they banned the only thing that could make that thing semi-watchable. Mm-hmm. Might as well pronounce it retard. Uh, but no, this is what I took away from this whole entire thing. Scotty, the whole place is full of fucking terrorists shut up <laughs> uh, but no you had so much shit being talked on by uh the the british by by the uh english going into that game against the united states about how they're just going to wipe the floor with us and all this other shit and then we end up going tying zero to zero let me break something down to you zero to zero is nothing to get excited about it's guys. it's not but but you Did should it even have happen at it, that point, you yeah. should have. You should have absolutely wiped the floor with the, uh, the American soccer team, and it's pronounced fucking soccer. If you realize that we would take our best athletes, if if that was our number one sport that we all gave a shit about, do you know how badly we would dominate everybody? Yeah, it would be embarrassing. Yes. But we don't. Imagine LeBron Ooh. James running down on a fucking oh, soccer field. He's so field. good at flopping. He would mm-hmm. flop like a motherfucker. That's why he'd get all the penalty shots. It would be just embarrassing. So no, and uh, and I guess okay, great. I think LeBron would United actually. United States gets to move on to the next round. Woohoo! Go. Ten percent of our population actually gives a shit. I think LeBron, if like they got eliminated, he would go play for the Netherlands the next World Cup. Probably. I think is if they if do. they won. I'm taking yeah. my talents to fucking Holland. Yeah, here's uh, with you. here's what I found. Something that I found interesting: more Americans tuned in to watch that U.S. versus England game sure. than they did for every women's World Cup game in the last World Cup combined. <laughs> <laughs> and they still don't know why they make less. Well, they make the same now. Make the same now, yeah. But anyways. and insurance and everything else. Congratulations. So USA, uh, yeah. Right. Now we get to move on Way from to that stupid the suffering. motherfucking sport. Now we get to move on to a real sport, which is actual football. And uh, this one is for Jeremy Joseph, and he is repping like a motherfucker. No mm-hmm. one is shitting in Jeremy Joseph's Cheerios this year. K State beats KU. Thank fucking God to go on to the Big Twelve Championship against TCU. That's right. Two purple fucking teams get yeah. to go after it. We're watching two orange teams right now. Here we are. 
Syracuse and Illinois in basketball, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no. Uh, so how do you feel, Jeremy? I feel very good. I feel good. very relieved. The stage was perfectly set mm. for it was. a letdown. And especially because it was rainy and shitty at the fucking game. Yep. That really actually kind of put things in KU's favor a little bit. Uh, and I got to hand it to him. Those fuckers wouldn't go away. <laughs> right. I, know, I thought it was going to be over shortly after halftime. And they just, I mean, it was never really in question after the first quarter, but at the same time, they just wouldn't go the fuck away. Yeah. And they were pissing me off. You know what the best part about that entire game, though, was? Okay, you lost? No. Well, okay, second best part about that entire game was? What's that? The long snaps. Yeah. They, fuck, yeah. they were fucking They were beautiful. spot on, even in the shit weather. That's exactly spot right. On. That dude needs a medal. Yeah, he does. You know who's really excited about the Big 12 championship? <laughs> Grimace. <laughs> Grimace is... Yeah, yeah, yes, that's yeah, it. He's, he's very, very excited about it. I wonder who's who he's actually rooting for when he shows up. I don't know. He They won't tell he, anybody. He's just going to show up naked and make a guess. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and and as, as nice as a conference championship would be and as much as I want them to win, uh, from what I understand, it really doesn't matter. They're getting the Sugar Bowl either way. Okay. K-State is. And probably going to be playing Alabama. Let's go, K State, baby! Yeah, I'm I I'm excited for that matchup. I want to see how it would go, and we can do a video of you talking shit to Justin Danger not only about that particular game. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we can do I, that. Let's hope that happens. Let's really hope that happens. Okay, yeah, Alabama manages to not sneak their way into the playoffs. That's right. Um, now we get to get to the. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they should not. They should. There's, they've got no business being ranked ahead of like Clemson right now. Bad problem. Yeah, uh, but or Tennessee. Okay. Because didn't Tennessee beat them? Yep. Tennessee did beat them. Yep, yeah. They did. Uh, but now we get to move on to the NFL news. And this is kind of NFL news, but I thought it was actually kind of funny. OBJ got kicked off of a flight for refusing to buckle his seat seatbelt, and he was slipping in and out of consciousness. How does one do that? CTE. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. I think that's what you blame every crazy thing that I, a guy does I now. think so. That or Ambien. Yeah. One of the two. I, I think people really just underestimate the importance of seatbelts. <laughs> and you, sleep. That's what keeps you conscious. That's right. Seatbelts. Yep. That's I'm right. wearing one right now. Especially, that's why I'm awake. Especially on a plane. <laughs> yeah. I unbuckle this fucker. I'm out like a light. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, any bets? I think we're all betting he ends up going to Dallas. Yeah, I think so. I think so. That would be the most fucking Dallas thing ever. ever. Yep. Other than maybe Antonio Brown, if they got him. I hope. That would be the most Dallas Cowboy fucking thing ever. They may actually get them both. That oh, would make most that'd sense. That would be great. I, I, hope, uh, I hope he gets them. I, ho- I, I hope they get him, and then I hope yes. he becomes cancer on their team. That'd See, be I hope Dallas wins the Super Bowl. Fuck you. That would just be fantastic. No. I think it would be hilarious. Uh, to, to most Dallas Cowboy fans... Uh, Fuck <coughs> off. But to all yeah. of you Dallas Cowboy fans that listen to the show, we like you, but please don't let that fucking happen. I really want that to happen. Mm-hmm. No, thank you. Uh, but uh, next one, everybody is making fun of Russell Wilson now. <laughs> Brian Burns sacked him and mocked him with his own celebration. You know the video of Russell Wilson, how he gets ready for every game? He has his headphones on and he's just kind of sitting there ominously going like this back and forth. So he did that, mm-hmm. right? And... Uh, I got. I found a, a fun stat. Is this it, the bathrooms versus touchdowns? Oh no! Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Well, yeah. I saw that. I saw okay. that. He's got eight touchdowns right now, and he has twelve bathrooms. Uh, yeah, he is currently on pace to <laughs> throw less touchdowns. Less touchdowns than bathrooms, than bathrooms in his house. In his that house. guy must shit a lot. <laughs> I know, right? He must hate to flush, so he just goes room to room. Yeah, upper decker and everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it is now uh, week twelve, and Carson Wentz ha- still has more touchdown passes than Russell Wilson. And he hasn't played since week six. Yeah. That's embarrassing. To be outshined by Carson Wentz, period. Period. And period. Then, and then he hasn't played we since 12? week six. 12. Yeah. That's wow. bad, buddy. Um, I would say I feel bad for Denver Broncos fans, but I don't. And um, he's he is just so delusional. Oh, yeah. Let's ride. Like, at the end of every interview? Yeah. Fuck off. He's getting yelled you're, at by his own players on the sideline. You're not rallying people around. No. Yeah, what was it? His, didn't his running back come no. off the field and rip defense. his ass? It was, was the defense. His running back got cut, and now he's with Kansas City. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. But uh, Melvin Gordon got mm-hmm. cut. Right. Now, now but I, I just saw footage of somebody running off the field. That was a defender, and got, Was it? I'm pretty sure that was a defender. Like, and, keep us off the field for more than three fucking snaps? Keep us off the fucking field. Yeah, get a first down, you piece of shit. I, and I would say the same damn thing to him if I could. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, next one. Uh, somebody get the Jaguars uh, mascot and calm him the fuck down. He was found wearing an American flag speedo during the Baltimore and Jacksonville game. <laughs> I thought that was great. All right. Was he in the mascot costume? Yep. Like he was in the. <laughs> was, was it the guy who plays the mascot, or was the mascot? No, they they like the obvi- furry. They obviously set it up so the mascot had the regular mascot head, but they had like a suit that was somewhat mus- muscular, I guess. Uh-huh. But it was yellow like the hat, and it was kind of furry and fuzzy. And then they had the speedo like pulled up on over it. It was fucking great. I, I like to good. think that they had okay. like something stuffed in the front of that speedo, like a big jaguar dick. Oh, for sure, like a giant cod piece. Actually, they used your uh, wife's uh, dildo that uh, you bought her for. That well, was what we you know. You ain't you ain't lending yours out. Uh, I know, I'm sure not. I'm mm. holding on to that one. It's stuck. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's stuck. They got to put a rope on the end of that thing for you, Scott. Yeah, okay, fine. Tug it, comes right back. That's right. Um, did you see, I, I, I see it's not on here. Did you see the thing with the Seahawks what on the it? interception with the Raiders? What about it? Derek Carr threw a pick, uh-huh. and the guy that's returning it. Oh, shit, the guy yes, from I the, did. A guy from the sideline that was on defense for the Seahawks. He was on, on the, the bench. He's on the bench, runs off the bench, and starts blocking. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And I, never got caught. And he didn't get caught. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, Play chess, that not should, checkers. That's right. That <laughs> should let you know just how inconsequential that game is. <laughs> hey, and the Raiders they, got away. They just went, one. yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking block. We don't care. We don't give a you're, shit. You're both finishing at the bottom of your fucking division. <laughs> no, not the Seattle. fucking Seahawks. Seattle. They're in Where playoff they? Oh, contention. no, Seattle. That's right. They're I was still thinking contention. Jacksonville. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, next one. Rams head coach Sean McVay got near damn knocked out. He got damn near just clocked yeah. by a, his own player taking the field. It was a rookie player going onto the field and hit him with his right shoulder pad and damn near knocked him the fuck out. I thought it was a helmet. It was no, a helmet. it was his shoulder. It sure looked like he was like nope. leaned in to say something to him and didn't realize how far out his helmet he was. He tried to avoid him and he went like this, and that was actually he what put it made right at face height. Right at face height yeah. to Sean McVay. That's probably not a good idea for a rookie to do that. The other thing, too, that I saw with the Rams is season ticket holders are asking them to donate their season tickets. Uh, they're, they're asking season two ticket holders to donate their season tickets so they don't have empty seats. Oh, yeah. What? People aren't Instead going. Instead of throwing them the fuck away. Yeah, people aren't going. They really are a disappointment this year. Oh, yeah, God. Really I mean, are. I didn't figure them to win this year or this week just because their quarterback and top two receivers Stafford's were out. out. Yeah, Cooper Cup's out. You're defending Super Robinson. Bowl champions, though. Yes. Come the fuck on. You yeah. should not be three and eight yeah. or whatever the fuck they are. It's kind of embarrassing. Mm-hmm. It really is. I mean, they started the season with pretty well the same talent mm-hmm. that they had. Yeah, and added Allen Robinson. Right. Who's now out for the year. Right. Is he really? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Fuck me. He's on my fantasy team. <laughs> well, he's not anymore. Yeah. He won't be. No, I'm keeping season. him, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he might be back. Yeah. You never know. You want to trade? Nope. Um, trading deadline's way past, buddy. Derek, I heard you uh, You had some running backs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one. Mike White steps into the opportunity as the starting quarterback for the New York Jets. And goes 12 for 16 with two touchdowns, zero INTs, and a QBR of 155.7. Suck that, Zach. He made Zach Wilson look like a bitch. He sure did. And there was even a video of him like giving a wink on the sideline. Like, he ain't even scared. Bring this shit on, motherfucker. Well, I mean, what's it going to do? Get worse? He's a fucking backup. I mean, yeah. He's getting backup pay. That's true. So. Our defense made him look fantastic. That's yeah. just the next thing and I was going to say, but it also was against the fucking Bears. And it was pouring down rain, which usually those games are a 13 to 10 game. I mean, mm-hmm. it was pouring fucking rain. And deep balls, everything. Doesn't matter. They were catching fucking everything. Garrett it Wilson had, had a game. He had all the time in the world to throw that fucking ball. Our defense is Fucking atrocious. And we lost uh, Darnell Mooney and Eddie Jackson for the year now. There you go. Oh, Darnell so. Mooney's on my fucking fantasy football team. <laughs> <laughs> he gone. He gone. Uh, this guy's on my fantasy football team. Uh, but next one, the uh, Washington Commanders get a late win, and running back Brian Robinson sports a huge hat following the win against ATL Atlanta. Yeah, didn't he say his friend makes him, so he's trying to support his friend? Yeah, so let him know. If you want a big fucking hat. 
Who the fuck would want that? It's a uh, it's a big hat. It's a funny hat. It's a funny hat. Norm yeah. Macdonald sounds yeah, like he funny. might want one. Turd Ferguson. Turd Ferguson. Turd Ferguson. Oh, Turd Ferguson. Turd I'm sorry. It's my bad. Fu- it's a funny name. Uh, but no, I thought it was fucking hilarious. That thing is enormous. It was fucking huge. Uh, it looked like the cheat code you would put in on NBA. Gym. Yes, mm-hmm. that's exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking it was something like for a Major League Baseball game. You put in a cheat code and they have giant hands. Yeah, he looked like he's ready to play RBI baseball right now. Yep. Like that's 100%. Good call. Good call. Uh, I know, Scott. Uh, I know. And last one, the Eagles beat the Packers on Monday night. Woo! Uh, wait, that's not Monday night, is it? It was on Sunday, Sunday night. night. Sunday. Sorry. Sunday night, Packers linebacker caught cheating by faking an injury to slow the Eagles down on their hurry-up offense. Oh, and they booed the fuck out of him. This needs to be a penalty. That, Absolutely it should. It, that player needs to be out for the remainder of like the quarter or something like yeah, that. Yeah, they do that, and then he has to miss a play, and then which he is, can come back Which is in. bullshit. Because every Every time it, I watched that game, it was yes. every time they they, they were, were trying to run and hurry. Yeah. And hit. There's a guy down on the field. And Isn't the, it if you're <laughs> trailing, or if if you're the team trailing, you uh, in there a ten second runoff too? I know they make you use your two minutes? they make you use your timeouts That's at right. a certain point. Yeah. yeah, but I think yeah. It, the rest of the quarter. If you're down like that, then you you don't just miss a play. If you cause a stoppage to the game, mm-hmm. that is whenever it needs to be enforced. You now cannot come back until the next the following quarter. Yeah, if you're so fucking hurt that yeah that you need help off the field and all that shit, then yes, you uh, you're too hurt to play. And quarter, I quarter may be much. Next possession, like you're out for yeah. that okay. entire step possession. I'm, okay, that's good. I, I, I like. I was. Fair. I was thinking that, like, for a quarterback or something like that, that probably be a little bit much for a whole fucking quarter. But yeah, yeah a, a possession sounds like a little bit yeah, more like, reasonable. Yeah, and like if they're down and now, all right, now they're at the fifty. Ah, shit, we got a guy down on the field. Well, you don't come back until your team has touched the ball again. Yeah, exactly. I, and I think it's a great one because that is, that's bullshit. That is totally yeah. bullshit. And it's not even that hard. The Eagles run the same fucking play. Yeah, if you're cramping up and then you're like, oh, I'll just go stand on the sideline for 30 seconds. Hobble. All right, I'm good now. Hobble over they, to the fucking sideline. They walk off on their own power. Yeah. I'm like, come the fuck on, yeah. man. Yeah, and and he even, I think he even gave him a double middle finger. He on did. The he flipped up. him off. Yeah. yeah. And I, uh, I think you should have to stay on the ground, but still in the game. Okay, deal. Yeah, I'll take I like that. that. Just I like play that. around him. Play yeah. around him. Just have a pace guy yeah, like a NASCAR. Just, yeah, if your guy does that, you have to play the next play with 10. <laughs> they actually, just rope him off like someone did a poop <laughs> on the field. That's exactly what I was going to say. God damn it. <laughs> you beat me to it. I was going to say, you got to be roped off. <laughs> got to avoid him. I'm also for, I, I really like the idea of changing the quarters to five minutes each and just do fourth quarter style timing. Through the whole fucking thing? Okay. Because I don't know what the point is of the first and third quarters, especially the way that they just keep the clock running, even if they go out of bounds and shit. I mean, I'll wh- compromise. Wh- why I'll are the fucking rules different for one part of the game? Let's do 10. Let's do 10. Yeah, well, I noticed that. Is that what they, is that? Yes. Yeah, that the, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a different there's way, a different way of clock. Keeping. Yeah, that's 100%. That's stupid. It's yeah. really dumb. Yeah, <sighs> either the clock stops when you go out of bounds or it doesn't. Yep. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the sports news for this week. Now we get to move on to the fun stuff. We get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Self-explanatory. If you can't figure it out, you're a fucking idiot. Uh, First one, real shit or horse shit. If my wife left or died, I would be perfectly fine by myself. That's a combination of things. This is a loaded question. I'm going to say horse shit. Ooh, really? Yeah. Um, I've gotten to the point now where about the only thing I could eat when she's gone, if she hasn't pre-made shit for me, is like a goddamn hot pocket. <laughs> like it is fucking ridiculous. Like my yeah. my wife spoils the living fuck out of me. Mm-hmm. So and <laughs> I would have to move into like a HUD house mm-hmm. because she's the breadwinner as well. <laughs> like I, oh god, dude, I don't, I wouldn't make it fucking two weeks, bro. I'm. <laughs> I'm being honest. It's fucking sad, but I'm being honest. You're being honest. I'm going to yeah. be honest, too. There is no way. I'm in the same boat. My wife cooks. My wife clean. I think laundry would be the hardest thing. Yeah, oh, for sure. Fuck, I'd be so screwed. I'd just buy fucking Walmart t-shirts and just throw them away. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, all right, well, let's go get five new three-pack. E- even if I figured out how to do laundry, I would then have to figure out how to fold laundry and put it in my drawers. Yeah, that shit ain't going to happen. It's just going to be piles of clothes that are clean and not clean. Yeah, there's no fucking way. This is uh, this is horseshit. Jeremy, I'd be fine. I know. Uh, I yeah, live in know. an enchanted house. <laughs> I have a box in my closet where I just put dirty clothes and they come out clean. 
and then our sink also and i put dishes in there they wind up clean and uh so yeah i wouldn't have to do any of that shit <laughs> and uh yeah i i just i i i come home on payday and i i just leave money on on the table and bills get paid by themselves it's fu- <laughs> i'd be fine guys so could me i don't even know why in the fuck she's there so all of our wives die me and Derek come live with you right yeah batch it up Derek yeah. can sure oh, oh yeah fuck. that's what i'm talking about uh, yeah. thank, you, thank you guys all Start right a bowling team and a podcast <laughs> about yeah. the bowling team yeah, yeah. two-man bowling team you and you guys and jp uh all right oh, yeah. four more have six-man Jeez. football <laughs> yeah that fuckers after yeah yeah <laughs> You gotta have some connections in Cunningham. You can probably get a couple stars. Probably. probably. We we need to learn the fucking rules first. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth quarter rules, whole way. Yep. Uh, next That's one. Right. <laughs> Fourth quarter timing. <laughs> next one. Real shit or horse shit? I need to use chopsticks when eating Chinese food. Real shit, one hundred percent. I'm not gonna look like a dick. <laughs> I have to, and that is one thing that I think my wife was impressed about when we were first dating, is that I knew how to use chopsticks. Holy shit, I thought I was the only one. No. I have to. I I will go back. I want my own set of chopsticks for the house. We got our own sets of chopsticks as well. I have to go back. If if I'm out at home or something, and I brought my food, my Chinese food, all the way home. Oh, I won't go back. I will go all the way back, and I will grab like a fucking handful of of chopsticks in order to eat Chinese food. This is real shit. I legit want my own set for the house. Oh, no bullshit. How about you, uh, Jeremy? This is horseshit. Uh, <laughs> you fork feeding first, motherfucker. First off, with a Japanese wife. Most all the food I eat is Chinese food because <laughs> of who made it. And uh, the uh, the other thing is, no, just almost out of spite, I, <laughs> I have never ever learned to use chopsticks. Uh, it's it's coming up, I, Jeremy. I may make a nice set out of those ribs I have removed, uh, <laughs> <clears throat> but. Until that day, no, I, I don't. Uh, I'm a fucking American. Yeah, <coughs> I eat with little shovels. Anniversary's coming up, Jeremy. Mm-hmm. You know about you know what I'm talking about? Uh, the day that we'll live in. The day that me. I can fucking leave. <laughs> no. Yeah, December seventh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's coming up. I got it marked on the calendar. Yeah. You gonna wake her up like you normally do? Sure, I am. Okay, cool. Just making sure. You know, Jeremy's father in law's old school too. Like back in the day, he used to make Jeremy's wife go out back and pick her own <laughs> chopsticks before they could go eat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah you just snap those off the tree <laughs> you better get the good ones right it's always poison oak <laughs> <laughs> all right next one real shit or horse shit i am excited to start decorating the house with christmas decorations after thanksgiving horse shit the tree's not even up <laughs> oh, really no and we're not going to be home for christmas yeah i i don't want to decorate it fucking all because i hate Putting just it away. Yeah, I get it. I totally understand it, man. I mean, I, that's I've got like one tree, but a shitload of ornaments. Yeah, and it is I know. just I mean, uh, God, I mean, it's already got the light strung on it, but just yeah, it's so much. It takes like fuck, it takes like an hour, it's, you know. It's but just, I, yeah, <laughs> it's, you know what I mean. And then like, yeah. and then yeah. we got to hang the wreath. Yeah, yeah. And I don't want to do that. Well, it takes a couple of hours. I mean, the you, stockings. It, yeah, and, yeah. I just. <laughs> And, uh, and, and this is gonna fly. <laughs> How does? Where do I? Where's the line for that? That line. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Jeremy, what's your answer? Yeah, Jeremy. Well, <laughs> one, the house magically decorates itself. <laughs> Starting in April. <laughs> No, that's about how long it takes to get down. Um, oh. the No, it, it, it has been Christmas since well before Halloween in, <laughs> in our house. Uh, we got out the big tree this last weekend. Um, that's, that's I think, the last thing that has to be done, but that's a two-week process. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what's the question again? <laughs> Real shit or uh, horseshit, I am excited to start decorating the house with Christmas decorations after Thanksgiving. Uh, I'll... I'll look forward to it after I stop rolling my fucking eyes. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <coughs> I mean, just when I think she couldn't have more, it's another tub full of shit. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna make a video this year for us to put on TikTok. You goddamn right we are. I, I'm gonna go through my house, just tree to tree, 
And uh, so people can see the nonsense that I fucking live with. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jeremy turns Here's into th- an orchard. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. As much shit as I stack on her for doing this, when she gets done, it looks really fucking cool. It really does. <laughs> she does a very nice job. But in the meantime, it's like a goddamn tornado came through the house. <laughs> it really does look cool. Except it got into the basement. Too. Yeah. And yeah, that's that, where water lives. Yep, that's right. My favorite is when you were like, I I fucking hate that we buy Christmas trees, but I got one that turns into a Decepticon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was my favorite. Yeah, that's the one it, we got out this weekend. It takes it itself down. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Uh, but for what it's worth, uh, this is uh, overrated for myself as well. Uh, but now we get to move on to the next one. Uh, real shit or horse shit. If I have a wedgie, I have no problem picking it out in public. Oh, that's horse shit. Really? 100%. Oh, fuck you. No, I'm used to it. I wear a thong. Oh. <laughs> like, uh, you can't get a wedgie when you wear a thong. I can't wear a thong. My front doesn't fit in a thong. Well, it mine, uh, I, the first time I wore it, I put it on backwards. Oh, is that right? Yeah, so it looked like one of those little things. It's like... <laughs> it yeah. was really weird. I had to explain shit stains in the front of my underwear. <laughs> But, uh, oh, you did, did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well. now, I, now that I wear it the right way, though, I mean, God, it's so free and comfortable. That's right. Uh, no, I'm. This is this is real shit. I, I don't care. Uh, I'll pick a wedgie in public. I don't care uh, if you're looking at me. It's your fucking fault, Jeremy. Uh, I learned a technique a long time ago uh, to wear boxer briefs, so you can actually pull down lower on your leg. Oh yeah, and that's a good point. And you can do it without having to go. If I have to get it out of the crack. Uh, I'm already as, under the assumption that people think I'm disgusting, so I smell my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit. Guys sometimes really just want to be close friends with a girl. We really want to be close friends with her puss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, we want to get real close to that. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? Ah, you're talking to the guy that's been friend zoned more in his entire life. I had one woman that didn't friend zone me. I fucking married her. <laughs> <laughs> because otherwise, I was still going to have a lot of friends. Right. Yeah. That, uh-uh. We, we want you. Come on, guys. Yeah. No, this is real shit. This is real shit. No, it's not. You no. can... Shut up. No, it's real shit. You really can have that one girlfriend of yours, while very, very attractive, really has a good mind and makes good decisions and good to be around. Fun, you know, things like that. I'll be friends with an ugly chick. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah ugly fat, if, you're, if, you're, if you're mildly attractive, I want to fuck you. <laughs> I don't want to be friends with the ugly chicks. How about you, Jeremy? Well, I don't mind it. Usually they got hot friends you want to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're <laughs> married. Shut up. Well, yeah, I'm yeah. saying if I wasn't married. Okay. Or, you know, my wife and I are swingers. Ah, uh, that makes perfect sense. More, oh, the, the upside down more, pineapples uh, make yeah, so much yeah. more sense now. More me than her. But, uh, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. She doesn't know about it. <laughs> yeah. You turn the pineapples back over. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She thinks I like SpongeBob a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Every That's, time you go out somewhere, you come back with another dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just some fucking creep. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on, huh? <laughs> How about you, well, Jeremy? I'm just, I just keep putting pineapple on his pizza. He loves it. <laughs> yeah, he fucking loves it. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, this is horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> this, I don't, you, you said a bunch of words that I recognized as English, but I'd never heard him put in that order before, Scotty. I didn't know what else No, did. this, is, uh, this is stupid. Um, <laughs> no, it, it's, I'm sure it's possible, but I have. Uh, Statistically? No. No. And, and I mean, I've been married, I guess, long enough to where if I were good, close friends with a girl, it would look really strange. So I, it would never happen. But back in the day, no, if I met a girl and I was wanting to fuck her, that's, that's the only reason we were hanging out. Right? Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. <clears throat> maybe not for, I mean, you know, I suppose I could be friends with a lesbian, but. I don't want to talk I, about I guess, NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that is the one uh, that one situation. If they're a lesbian, yeah, you're kind of, or are you trying to get them out of it? Yeah. Are you trying to pull them back to the right team? Yeah, yeah. Turn yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, turn them. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, shit. Get All them right. out of the Matrix. That's right. All right. Well, that was real shit or horse shit. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Again, self-explanatory. You can't figure it out. You're a moron. First one, overrated or underrated, flying cars. Fucking overrated. We were supposed to have those like 30 years ago. Oh, we have them. 
Well, yeah, they're called planes. <laughs> well, helicopters <laughs> is, is what they are. Uh, in order for a car to fly, I mean, it can move like a car. Mm -hmm. It's noisy. <laughs> it's a lot of, lot of road noise, usually, yeah. for something that doesn't make contact with the road. Right. Just imagine your kid trying to sneak the helicopter out of the <laughs> Yeah. Just, just push the just skis push down it. the driveway. Right. <laughs> Pop the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> just. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, flying cars. I, I'm thinking of it more of as if like everybody drives these things. Do you realize how shitty you guys already drive regular mm -hmm. fucking cars? In two dimensions. That's exactly right. And now we're going to go up in the air and guess what happens when shit in the air kind of dies or does something stupid. It crashes and guess what the fatality rate for those particular crashes are. Yeah, this is overrated as shit. Jeremy? Yeah, they're overrated. I mean... <laughs> It, there are so many other problems to fucking solve. <laughs> yeah, no shit. That if we solve this one before other shit, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> Same. If, if I don't have a sex robot first. <laughs> Those exist. Yeah. Uh-huh. But they're not, you know, affordable? if somebody offends, uh, yeah. Oh. If somebody can, can uh, invent a way to make them affordable. Okay. Sure. Everybody should start buying them. Then eventually. When I don't have to blow up. Oh, gotcha. Vicky's sitting in there, by the way, if you right. want to take her home. Uh, next one. What? Overrated or underrated, reversible starter jackets. I'm going to go overrated. Really? Yes. Pullover starter jackets, underrated. That's what I'm talking about. But reversible, Oh, you lose me. I, okay. Yeah, reversible anything, I'm not a big fan of. Okay. Yeah, I just I don't like it. And then one side is going to smell like shit all the time. Because <laughs> the side I like, mm -hmm. I'm going to wear. And then I'm like, ah, shit, I got a stain on it. Let me just put this sweat stained, yep. turn it inside out. No thanks. Yep. When I was a kid, I had one of these. These are underrated. And uh, what he's saying about smelling like shit is totally true. I had a Chicago Bulls one that was reversible, and I always wore the red out and the black in. Mm -hmm. That black smelled like shit. Oh, so, yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, so, but I think it's still underrated. Jim? Well, here's something I learned a long time ago. As long as you don't mind looking like a dickhead, all jackets are reversible. <laughs> <laughs> they can True. all be turned inside out. You might be a little bit cold, too. You, people, I mean, if Criss Cross can wear their shit backwards. True. Yeah, that's then true. I can wear shit inside out. You sure can. Wasn't there, okay, what was uh, what was the group, the other group that of kids that wore their clothes inside out? LFO? No. I don't know. <laughs> it was kind of the antithesis of Criss Cross. Criss Cross made a... Criss Cross applesauce? No. Oh. Criss Cross is saying... They Chris, that make you yeah. jump. 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 Yeah. Oh. And, and they, they put a line in their song about... Because Inside Out is wiggity, 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 whack. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, and they that. took a dig at somebody. And who fucking was that? I God damn it. Don't fucking know. Was I it, don't know. Was it, I know they missed the bus. Was it another bad creation? Mm. I don't know. No. God damn it. Now I got to look it up. Okay, fine. You, you guys talk amongst yourselves. Uh, yeah, we're going to move on to the next one. Okay. Can we move on to the next one, or are you yeah. going to take your fucking time? Yeah, we're moving on. Okay. Uh, next one. You know how Jeremy's got to have that screen really big? Mm -hmm. He's got to zoom in quite mm -hmm. a bit. You know what I'm saying? I should probably put on my fucking glasses. I was getting ready to say this. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. He can't even zoom in mm -hmm. right. He's too old to figure out phones. Where's the cord on this thing? I know. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have a dial tone. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the rotary? <sighs> That's um, what I was doing, Scotty. Yeah, I know. That was, was for the viewers, and that, you made it for the listeners. Exactly. That's my job. That's what makes me a good fucking host. I was host. trying to keep it a secret from most of our... But but yeah. I am a great host. Listen to me. I sound amazing. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but, uh, well, That's great. We fucking moving. I thought we're moving on here. This is getting really sticks. weird here. No, it I really is. I uh, we do I carry the show that much to where I can't look something yeah, up for half a second? Let's move on here. Do you want to go? Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll go. Uh, all right, next one. Overrated or underrated? Handcuffs in the bedroom. Ooh. Well, I'm going to have to go overrated. Really? However, handcuffs in the bathroom, underrated. <laughs> what? Oh, for sure. Really? Yeah, you handcuff that bitch to the toilet. She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> You can go fishing. <laughs> you can handcuff her to the bed. Same shit. No, I don't have a four-post bed. Oh. I can't handcuff her to the bed. Oh, I can't man. handcuff her to anything in the bedroom. Bathroom? Let's go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, it'll be like fucking saw by the time we leave. I got you. Yeah, because I was going to go underrated as well for that very reason. Just handcuff her in there. If you got a ball gag, just mm -hmm. handcuff, ball gag, go do whatever the fuck you want. Come back. Hours later, she'll, be, she'll still be there. Absolutely. So, underrated for me. How about you, Jeremy? Uh... The cops shouldn't be in my bedroom. <laughs> um, that's the only reason there would be handcuffs in there. What uh, if your wife's we, a cop? Uh, she's not. Oh, okay. um, she, uh, 
insisted we get a sleigh bed because everything's got to be fucking Christmas. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, <coughs> overrated. I don't. I I hate the idea of being restrained. Oh, that okay. really just freaks me out. Yeah, so no. I, yeah, I hear you. And okay. I can't find what fucking group it was. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. Oh, can I read the next one? No, I was gonna do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Overrated or underrated? The rapists. <sighs> That's awful, Jim. Why would you do that, Derek? It underrated. Says the rapists. Underrated. It legit <laughs> says the rapists. Why would you do that? That's so wrong. That was the group that wore their pants <laughs> yeah, that inside the rapist. out. Yeah, Jeremy the rapist. managed them. For yeah, a while. I did. I should remember their <laughs> yeah. fucking name. Yeah, he, they wouldn't even be paying gigs. They just show up and start playing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody asked them to. They just force their music on you. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes so like they'd hold you down. That guy had fucking holes in his jeans. He wanted to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's not the rapist. That's therapists. Over, oh. Overrated or underrated, therapists. Oh, Jeremy didn't manage them. No, he didn't. Uh, <laughs> therapists. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with underrated. Okay. Never been to therapy, but I back whenever I was younger, I knew a lot of chicks with daddy issues. <laughs> 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 so you can continue to work those out with me. Uh, <laughs> mine's really, mine's actually a real answer. Um, yeah. I know we're just getting through, uh, men's mental health month. So, mm -hmm. uh, that's really important. So, uh, therapy, if you need it, go talk to somebody. So um, like now is men's mental health. Mental I believe health? it was actually last month. Last month was, Oh no shit. November. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That is a fucked up month to have men's mental health month yeah. and, and no nut November. No, not that yeah. is something no is wrong as well. There. Yeah. God damn. Uh, okay. No post nut clarity work on your health. That's right. And, and you know what, if I'm wrong and if it's another month, it needs to be every fucking month. If you need to go get mental health, uh, and You're a pussy. you need to go do it. No, quit listening to Derek. If you need to go see somebody, go see somebody, go talk to somebody. We want you around. Uh, it's an absolutely staggering fucking number of how many men uh, kill themselves, which is really fucked up. So uh, we want you around. We go, always use go one more, Scotty. Shut up. Yeah, there. we need yeah. listeners. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. So, yeah, anyways, uh, I think it's underrated. Kay. Jeremy? Um, yeah, totally underrated. <clears throat> I, I see a therapist once every three weeks. Really? And uh, it's... I don't even have anything necessarily that I'm wanting to talk about other than it's just a lot of bitch about the fucking host of a podcast. <laughs> 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 and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, he's sick of hearing about it. I'll be honest, <laughs> but no, it, it's, uh, dare I say therapeutic <laughs> yeah. um, as, as it's supposed to be. Right. I, I assume we're talking middle therapists. Physical therapists can suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They but, but no, uh, I would definitely suggest to anybody just to air your shit out. Somebody who you know you can trust. Confide in. Yeah. 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 Talk sure. about why you can't get your dick hard. That's right. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, and last one. Overrated or underrated? Dirty talk during fornication. I'm going to have to go overrated. I'm That shit would make me so uncomfortable, and I would take it way too far. Like, if she's like, ow, oh, tell me what you want to do to me. I'd be like, I want to punch you in the back of the head for buying Trans-Siberian <laughs> Orchestra tickets. <laughs> <laughs> tell me how dirty I am. Yeah. Your pussy smells like the Holocaust. Oh, like, I'm going to take it too far. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is so weird. Tell me what you want to do to me. How about I just show you? Because uh, I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, underrated. Jeremy? Um, well, for starters, uh, I'm a happily married man. I don't fornicate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe that is actually a term for uh, married or sex out of wedlock. M it? Maybe you should get her to start talking dirty to you. I, that's my favorite fucking scene in Bad Santa. <laughs> Whatever John Ritter is like, you, ain't gonna you, were in, for a month? you were in the dressing room and you were uh, fornicating <laughs> with a large woman. Hey. I boned a lot of fat chicks in my day, but I never fornicated nobody. <laughs> That's a fucking great line. Yeah. Isn't that what he says, too? The, you ain't going to shit right for yeah. a month. Fuck you, Willie. Last time, I didn't shit right for a month. Mm -hmm. A week. It was a week. You ain't going to shit right for a week. But maybe you should try that. It, uh, it, it, it's good. Good stuff. I'm not going to. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna, if anything, I'm going to tell her about what I want her to clean. Um, <laughs> clean talk. Mm -hmm. Like okay. these sheets for starters. Yeah. 
You've you know what, made a mess. You know what? Even better, do horse talk. Do horse talk while you're doing <laughs> fornication. Do you mean talk about horses yes. or talk like a horse? Well, Just both. Winnie Just, and neigh at her. Neigh. <laughs> Mr. Redder, give me your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make that ass <laughs> my bitch. It's start great. stomping my hooves. <laughs> stomping my hooves yeah. like a deer tick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gonna go hoof deep in that ass. <laughs> oh, oh my mane. <laughs> you ain't gonna see that on TikTok. Your pussy <laughs> smells like the Holocaust. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm, I make her call me Sea Biscuit. <laughs> oh, this could go on forever. It sure could, and, it, <laughs> and there's no reason it shouldn't. <laughs> well, I it's guess we're way better than anything else we have to talk about. Uh, we're running, uh, we're running long as it is. I'm gonna eat your pussy like a feed <laughs> bag, <laughs> like a carrot. Okay, Man, there so it went. Went. that was the yeah. end of it. That's, that's how. That's how you move on. You. <laughs> <had> to, <laughs> You close Daddy, we're burning alive. <laughs> you close it off and then you get to move. Tell therapist about <laughs> carrot comment. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not going to have a voice after this. Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Again, guys, uh, if you do have any good <clears throat> questions or uh, uh, questions in Spanish, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. And uh, I want somebody to send one in in Spanish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just once. I, I, That's going to happen. It's going to happen now, and it's going to be shit. It's not even going to be real Spanish. It's going like, to be like, poor K. Scotty ace me here. Exactly. That's what it's going to end up being. And it's like, well, why is Scotty shit? That's right. I know Spanish, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Because really of carrots. Because yeah. of fucking carrots. <laughs> yeah. In fact, if you really want a funny joke, go to laughingonthesidelines.com and look at under Scotty's picture. It's kind of funny. Uh, anyways, first first question of the week is: the most convenient piece of furniture is a couch that turns into a blank milking table. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, I think that's a great idea. That's a callback. It's not really a milking table like you're thinking of. That's what I was Ooh, going at. Was I know. Saying. Yeah, that <laughs> I, way. That Got way, milk. whenever I have people over to watch the game, you can do something too, Scott. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> He'll get you six. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, I went with a, with a rocket launcher. That's that's mine. You know. Okay. Yeah. How about you? It has to you turn do. into it though. Not not with. Not comes equipped with. No. I, I no. It turns into a fucking rocket launcher. You got a problem with my couch? Yeah. Fuck have, your couch. It's uh, armed and dangerous. Have you ever sat on a fucking rocket launcher? Sometimes. I wish he would. Oh, God. <laughs> I was I, I was Wiley in the Wiley Coyote uh, cartoon. So, yeah, I have. That would explain a lot. Right. Jeremy? What? What would it be? Didn't he try to catch the runner with a carrot one time? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I look at <laughs> you got him. Uh, the most convenient piece of furniture is a couch that turns into a blank. A better couch. <laughs> really? Yeah, like self you know, improves itself. One for when I have friends over, and then when they go, I can fold it out into my much more comfortable couch. <laughs> okay. Because I kept the uncomfortable side out so that they would fucking leave. Yep. Or a starter jacket. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love it. All right. Next one. If you started a religion. It would be called the Church of Blank. You go. Go to me last. Mine would be the Church of Chris Farley. That would be mine. He uh, He's a god and needs to be worshipped. Jeremy? Um, I'm going to go with the Church of uh, Unyielding Apathy. Okay. <laughs> Just, uh, hey guys, believe what you want, I guess. So. <laughs> I don't really give a shit. (laughs) Perfect. You can say shit in church if you want. (laughs) Let me let me introduce you to our new minister. He's got a ponytail and a soul (laughs) patch. He's gonna play guitar and (laughs) kick over some tombstones. (laughs) I fucking love it. How about you, Derek? Oh God, Uh, Mr. Ed Erotica. Mr. Ed Erotica. Church of Mr. Ed Erotica. Fuck yeah, that would be great. 
Well, what does sermon sound Everybody like? comes on Sundays. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> no, you got to say it like Mr. Ed, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not doing it. You ruined it with the carrot. Oh, come on. You like a good carrot. It's bigger than Nobody your... likes carrots, Scotty. Not even carrots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, all right. Next question. What is the weirdest thing in your Google search history? Oh, fuck. Munting. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I still don't have that definition memorized word for word. Yeah. So, like, at Thanksgiving, I had to look up munting. Yeah. So now my niece is fucking horrified. Mm, that's right. But yeah. you got to know. I mean, you got to start them early. That's that way they know to stay away from munters. It's totally true. I, I got to call back myself. Mine is diameter of Jeremy Joseph's asshole. So, you yeah, know what you, that is. No, I had to Google that shit. You've been fucking face-to-face with it. <laughs> I have not. You, you stared down <laughs> the alley. Face the hole, but no, I have not. <clears throat> brown eye to brown eye. <laughs> brown eye. Oh, that's gross. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I'm going to probably say that it's a thing that I looked up for uh, the interesting Snapple fact, which was... How much pro? How many jizz loads of protein would it take to equal a twelve ounce steak? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Okay, next question: <laughs> What Disney character would you bone? Mine's fucking easy. Okay, it's it's always the same one. Jasmine, Jasmine's fucking hot. You know she was like fourteen in that fucking movie. Mm. I, I, I was probably twelve, so she's yeah, older. now though. She's older now. now yeah, cartoons Disney. don't age. Yeah, they do. Now, no. now Bart Simpson's still nine. Okay. Yeah, you you pick. We I knew you were gonna pick that. You fucking pervert. <laughs> you really are. God damn it! I think we gotta call and get him on the register. I, all right. Which one is Jet? Was that Aladdin? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'd want to shut that frozen bitch up. Just uh, get she, her to stop singing. She's a fourteen too. God damn it! This uh, is Scotty, not gonna Scotty, be a Scotty, good day. Scotty is picking all the young fourteen-year-old mm-hmm. Disney princesses. Mm, okay, fine. How about you, Derek? Uh, Helen from The Incredibles, the mom. Oh, yeah, that's oh, yeah. good. Dicky that's, thick. I, I would she, take that. She's definitely pretty stretchy. Yeah. You don't got to worry it. about blowing you the know sides what, out of that. You know what else she is? What? Over 18. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part. She appeared to be over 18. <laughs> I'd be like, that pussy's incredible. <laughs> Okay. How about you, Jeremy? Mrs. Potts. <laughs> what? Uh, Angela Lansbury's character in Beauty and the Beast. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> the teapot, I believe it's she nice. was. Just the pot. Like, So this was just her being the pot or her when she's human? Oh, the pot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> still better than a 14-year-old girl. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, she, she had a child in that. <laughs> Uh, Grab your handle, stick it in your spout. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Stop your spout in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this last one. Uh, I don't want to do this last one. <laughs> it's like, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Oh, British people. Last. <laughs> <laughs> last question. What is something that sounds racist but totally is not? Colored pencils. Ooh. Mm. That's uh, two different things now. Back in the <laughs> 50s, that was just pencils. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Um, I, I, that, all right. I'm good. Uh, I was going to food coloring. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's not. Well, it is. It's food coloring. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's not racist. No. You don't, I mean, color your food. <clears throat> Come on. Jeremy? Uh, the expression bean counter. <laughs> <laughs> it, it literally just means like an accountant. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but it always sounded off to me. Oh, bad. Yeah. yeah, it did. I think one of my fucking bean counter. <laughs> the, the, one of the best things that Daniel Tosh ever did was he, he did two of them. Uh, the segments of Is It Racist, where he just made up terms, yeah. and then he had this like focus group that decided whether they thought it was, was uh, racist or not, Specklehead, and Spoon Face, uh, <laughs> Biscuit Neck, uh, God, what were some of the, oh, the uh, other ones? I guess I Chirp. missed that. I never liked Daniel Tosh. 
had a great time till some chirp came in. <laughs> I used to want to do this. Sand panda. Yeah. <laughs> They used to do this, want to do this thing a long time ago where it was just like stereotypes that were completely inaccurate. Uh-huh. And so I would just rattle off a number and be like, inaccurate stereotype number 39. All black people love the band Creed. <laughs> <laughs> inaccurate stereotype number 146. All Asians use the word bitch-tacular. <laughs> and they do. Yeah, they do. They absolutely. That's yeah. what I wanted to do. What was the, the one that I came up with that... Uh, uh, Koreans uh, have the ability to smell where furniture used to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god, uh, that's, that's fucking great. great! Oh shit! There used to be a love seat here. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's a pull-out couch. That's right. <laughs> now it's a milking table. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'll see a milking table. And <laughs> <laughs> this used to be a couch. <laughs> <laughs> well, Derek. What? It's uh, okay. our newest segment. Scotty slits his wrist. No. Ladies and gentlemen, the <laughs> no. moment you've all been waiting for. No. Here's your chance, dude. No. Hold on. God damn you. it. Oh, God, don't. How's uh, this thing yeah, work? Just don't push that, that up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, God, don't. Don't do it. Don't. Uh, I can't feel it. It won't shoot out. Just push it forward. Got to push hard. There you oh, go. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, go, yeah. bro. Yeah. It's bigger than his. Anyways. Than everything. Now we get to move on to the newest segment, which is called What's in the Box? I'm going to give this one. I, I think I should give this one to Jeremy. I was going to say, I opened last you, one. You right. opened the last one. I think we're going to give this one to Jeremy. So if you can see any identifying I, marks of who sent it. This is a box, by the way. This is Scott Thomas sent it. Didn't know. This is <laughs> this is a heavy fucking box, right? Uh-huh. So uh, I'm very curious to see uh, what somebody sent us. I don't see any uh, Does identifiers it any on it. Does the box make any noise? It it's ticking. It's, t- it's, it's ticking. Uh-oh. All shit. Right. I don't ever want to open one of these because I'm. I know it's just going to be just bad. Just let us know. Yes. <laughs> Scotty should open this this one. It's got fucking dog turds in it. Yeah. Ooh. What do we got here? All right. Okay. What should be? A, what do we got? Keep your gift a surprise. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. It's what? What was in the box? Envelope. <laughs> a gift for you. Oh, just for me. Yes. Uh, this is- Use this as punish. Uh, use this as a punishment wheel for. Uh, yeah, yeah. You better put your. Uh, use this as a punishment wheel for. Uh, God damn it! I don't have my goddamn glasses. Okay. Yeah. Fuck me! <laughs> and now, <laughs> you look, you look, you're, 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 I'm gonna learn to suck my own dick. <laughs> stick, stick your glasses in my neck. Uh, let's see. Uh, use this as a punishment wheel for Scotty, or let Jeremy use it to stay on topic. Either way, we love the show. Fuck you, Scotty. P.S. Derek, watch out for that uh, fucking wind. Fucking wind! <laughs> from Grady. Grady, thank do you, Do we know Grady? Grady? Uh, I'm sure we do. Is this from uh, Grady from Sanford and Son? Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> is. Oh, Jesus Christ, how many goddamn oh, layers do we need? Holy, Holy crap! Shit. He had a gift wrapping. Oh, my. What the hell? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> all right, I suck with gift bags. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we, all, we all know this. We all know this from the live show. Right, yeah. Okay, get the box out of here. Yeah. All right. All right. So you you put your fist go. in that box. No, I think we're good. Here you go. Wait. There it goes. It's by. It's gone. Oh, shit. Okay, this really looks <laughs> Jeremy can't figure anything out. This really is like can. diffusing How, a bomb. I think you just pull, Jeremy. Yeah, just I think separate you, it. Yeah, pull. Oh, hey, there you go. I'll be goddamn. <laughs> That's, that's what, it. That's all. Paper. That's no, yeah. That's it. Use that as a Son of a yeah. bitch. Matrix. What the fuck? This asshole Grady can suck my dick. Is <laughs> 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 a fucking box? Yes. All right. So I have played what's in the box. Now you play what's in the box. <laughs> okay. Fine. This episode's gonna go long, and I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay. All right. God damn! I hear it rattling. It's around. broken, apparently. Yeah, I think we broke it, Grady. I'm sorry. The people, the people at UPS. That's right? what you get for sending so many goddamn boxes, Grady. Yeah, no kidding. Boxes, bags, envelopes. Everything's got to be contained with Grady. I've noticed that about him. Oh, it is, it is a wheel. Okay, all right. Hang on, hang on. Oh. You got to put it together. Oh, you do. You got to put it together. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's a it's a colorful wheel. It's the wheel of pegging. Oh, no. Scotty, it, it, we're going to run a what? different inch on each one, and we're going to see how far Scotty's taking it. No, what I think color I, dildo? Yeah. <laughs> no. 
Always yeah. bet on black. But I think uh, I think we can figure out. Put this put, would hit you really good. Yeah, that goodness. Check great. this out. Ah, no. <laughs> Is that lead? Oh God, I, I hope, hope so. so. <laughs> yeah, we could probably find That's, some use for this. That's pop metal, guys. It's cheap. Like, throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Grady. We're yeah. going to put this to good use on the show if we get a chance. We can't put it together live on the show, obviously. We'll have to do it later. <laughs> but now we, we get to move you on. Can't. You couldn't figure it <laughs> out. No, there ain't no fucking way I can figure I it out. I couldn't figure out how to get in the goddamn box. Oh, that comes with an eraser. See this? Because you write shit on it. Yeah, I know. I pulled that out of there. Oh, okay. Well, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, last week, the places you really don't want to go and have Thanksgiving, uh, apparently somebody decided to have Denny's Thanksgiving, I saw. Yeah, that's uh, awful. Yeah. That poor, poor fella. Poor dude. Why would you do that to yourself? Yeah, what the, better way to be thankful than with moons over my hammy? That's right. Uh, no, no, I don't think. It was the Pilgrim Slam. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that's what it was. Yes. Indian Slam. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. A native that's slam. bad. <laughs> the native slam. Jesus. That's even worse. So who won? Uh, so I believe Jeremy Joseph ended up winning that. Um, Our fans make good choices. Yeah, uh, they you really always do. say that, you know, because well, they do. Scotty, Jeremy, I don't know. Jeremy's been on a tear lately. He has been. Uh, Derek came in second, and uh, surprise, surprise, guess who got last? You. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way it should be. That's a fucking huge surprise. Um, I'm excited for this next uh, category, though. This uh, this draft, uh, Jeremy will get the championship picks. Derek will get the sandwich picks, and I get first pick. And what is this week's draft there, Derek? Uh, the hottest women in their 90s. It, huh? In their 90s? Yeah. Oh, did you switch the draft up on me? No, that's what I told you. The hottest women in their 90s. No, I thought you said the hottest women in the 90s. Myrtle Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, wasn't my pick. Now Scotty's going to take that. No, this week's draft is going to be the hottest women from the 90s. Ah, shit, I got to redo my whole list. Whole fucking list. God, God damn. damn it, I had fucking Betty White. That you was... fucking had me there for a second. I thought you were being <laughs> serious. I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, but no, I'm very excited for this one. So I get first pick. Um, yeah. Hottest woman of the 90s. I can't let it go. Um, she's still fucking hot. Okay. Who is it? Uh, Rachel from Friends. Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston. Aniston. Okay. That's my number one overall pick for the rest of my life until okay. the day I die. God, she's so gorgeous. You know, she was 16 in the 90s. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> she was still hot. <laughs> You're getting me with the Jasmine bullshit again, aren't you? <laughs> No, she was. Uh, I think she was like in her uh, mid twenties in that uh, Friends deal. So, anyway, okay. Derek, you get second pick. Go ahead. Back in the day, there was no one hotter than Cindy Crawford. Okay, damn it. All oh, right, <laughs> you took mine. Okay, I don't. I don't think it's going to come back. But if it comes back, I'm going to be so excited. Okay, Jeremy Joseph, Heather Locklear. Okay. okay. And Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Damn it, that Damn, was the one. That's where I thought I was going to be able to sneak I was, that. Uh, uh, no, I didn't think it was going to come back either. I was like, son of a bitch. Okay. All right. down there. It smells like Zach's phone. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, would have normally been my number one, but I didn't think you would. I thought you would have taken Cindy Crawford. And I, I did too. Like, I was kind of. I was kind yeah, of. Yeah, I, uh, I was going to. And then would have went with like B. Arthur. Chester B. Mm. Arthur? Um, <laughs> my second one, I'm going to go with Daniel Fish Danielle Fischel. I thought you were going to say mm. Daniel. No, yeah. Topanga. Okay. All right. That's good. Fischel. Fischel? Is that yep. what it is? Okay. That's her. What's her name? I actually know a guy who went to her wedding. Really? Yep. That's pretty cool. Not really. Mm. Shitty wedding. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was the fucking, it was the officiant, the guy with the ponytail and soul patch. Well, I guess, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to do it. Kick over the unity candle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. The um, on fire. I'm going to go with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Okay. Uh, that is uh, a good, solid pick. Now, she was 18, I think, back then. She was? I think she might have been. That's a surprise. Mm-hmm. Um, 
<laughs> I've got one that I know is going to come back. But I, I had I had a thing for this chick, and I always will. I think she's still even beautiful today, um, and I can't think of her goddamn name. <laughs> well, that's kind of a rule. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. God damn it. I had it, and then I lost it. I'll be able to was find it. it was though. it Melissa McCarthy? Because no. she wasn't in the 90s. No, no, no. What was she on? Uh, Blast from the Past. Brett Butler. <laughs> no, dude. Oh, fuck. I, I follow her on TikTok, mm-hmm. too. God damn it. God damn it. Feels uh, like Alicia a Silverstone. Girl. God mm-hmm. damn it. I did. Yeah, you probably got a pee. <laughs> Alicia Silverstone. Oh. Yeah. Weird mouth? No, she's Yeah, gorgeous. she's got a weird fucking yeah, mouth. Yeah, she's fucking awesome. Really weird mouth. I liked her. She's all right. She was hot till she talked. Mm, I disagree. I thought she was always good looking. Uh, Derek, go ahead. Carmen Electra. Go for it. You can have her. I'm so pissed off at the Tiffany Amber Thiessen fucking pick. Yeah, I mm-hmm. thought I was going to get that. I was uh, hoping that you would get it, actually. Jeremy's way too old for her. Are you on me? Yep. yep. You get two, dude. Uh, Pam Anderson. Okay. I yeah, knew that was, that was a good one. Everybody's seen her naked, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's and not I like what I saw. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I saw her put a whole fucking horse's leg up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That thing was just... Tommy Lee's dick was basically just missing a hoof. <laughs> That's... <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, where was I at now? Oh, uh, Kim Basinger. Okay. Why not? I'll tell you. Okay. I'm really shocked. Uh, go ahead and go, Derek. One. All right. Well, I'm going to pick her, even though I never watched this show. The chick that played the Pink Ranger. You motherfucker! <laughs> God damn it! No! Yeah, what was her name? Oh, Amy Jo Johnson, you Amy piece jo of Johnson. shit! Amy Jo Johnson, okay. You- Speaking of things that uh, <laughs> seem racist but aren't, the Yellow and Black Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> You motherfucker. Oh, that's funny. You did me dirty. <laughs> was that the one that you were like, I'll, I'll get that one. Yes, sure. that yeah. was the one. You're such a giant douchebag. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate you. Oh, uh, that was my sneaky pick. Well, you're a douche. <laughs> fucking douche. I love it. Um, well, now I got to fucking look. This I got is, three, so you can pick two of them, and I'm still good. Uh, well, I hate your guts. Um, I I have one. I'm going to go with Mandy Moore. Okay. You think she's a 90s chick? Yeah. She was. She, she was. started off in there. Yeah, she was definitely there. I had a thing. A walk to remember. I know that was a little after the 90s, but right before. She was <sighs> like 2000s. Oh, hot. She was so good looking. And I was going to finish up my goddamn draft with... Uh, the Pink Ranger. Amy Jo Johnson. Fucker mm. didn't even know her name. Mm, now you're not. Jonathan Taylor Thomas is still there. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah, you probably like the younger brother, Mark. No. Yeah. Pfft, the real assholes. young one. Uh, oh, this was so my last pick. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Um, God dang it. I'm trying to sit here and think, and I can't think of any of them. I've got four. <sighs> you pissed me off with that fucking head. I got dick. his fucking head. You see what I did? Yeah, right there? he did. Mm-hmm. I thought that one was for sure going to come back. Not, not hard to do. Yeah. I've got nothing. Just say Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. No. <laughs> no, you You prick. don't want to fuck Simba? No, I, I'm going to fucking take her, but I don't like it one bit, and I'm going to go Britney Spears. That was one of mine. Okay. Uh-huh. I would trade you I will trade you Amy Joe for Britney. No. Nope. I was obsessed Bitch. with Britney back in the day. I know, I so her. was I. But then she went fucking crazy, but I guess it's not really her fault. It was no. her dad's and fault. And it's the 90s, not yeah. not I, her now. I know. I know. Which I want to stress with I my wanted, next pick. I not, wanted longevity. My next pick, I'm between two, but I'm going to go with who was at one point the most downloaded woman on the internet, mm. Sunny from WWF. Okay, you can have her. She was fucking incredible. You can also go Trish Stratus if you wanted to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
How about you, Jeremy? You get the last pick. Oh, I should have. Kathy Ireland. Damn. Okay. I should have took Stacy Keebler. Okay. Yeah, because you got an actual story for that. Damn, I should have took her. Well, she can be an honorable mention, and we can she have is? a story. Oh, yeah. Uh, other on, other, or other on, honorable mentions, uh, Daisy Fuentes. Fuentes? She was a MTV VJ and swimsuit model. And Halle Berry was another one. Yeah, I never had the thing for Halle Berry. Oh, well. Never did. Apparently. Swordfish. You can see her tits. I know. Uh, I, I, know. <laughs> I saw it. It's like that fucking, what was it, Knocked Up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, like Mr. Skin? No, no, no. What we do is find out exactly what movie <laughs> and yeah. what second. They show their, yeah, like Mr. Skin. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I can't believe, I'm so pissed off about Amy <laughs> Jo Johnson. I thought, for sure, dude, d drop dead gorgeous. Yeah. Not, not even in a Pink Ranger outfit, nothing. Yeah, I never even watched the show. Oh, um, you suck. I, uh, I, I, I deserve that fucking pick. Well, you didn't get it. I even cried when the Green Ranger, her boyfriend, died. That's fucked up, bro. Um, Why don't you think of him as the White Ranger? That hmm? was by far the better... Of the two mm -mm. entities. Mm -mm. Oh, sure. No. No. Green. Green. He I, didn't I, have... He couldn't be a standalone Zord. Yeah. The I'm, dragon Zord? Yeah. Oh, did that stand alone? I thought it was yeah. part of the merger. No. No. He called it with this trumpet that was kind of played like a flute that he held up to his face that was a mask that he couldn't blow or talk through. <laughs> I'm a Power Rangers nerd. You, dude. Uh, Don't, here, big time. You, you <laughs> cried over this guy. I'm glad dead. he's dead. <laughs> to be honest, oh, I'll be honest. Uh, that's mean. Wow. Yeah. Fucking mean. Yeah. He didn't. It wasn't even his last Thanksgiving this year. I do um, like your Topanga pick, though. I thought that was a good one. Um, there was uh, there was a couple that I didn't. I. Uh, I yeah, can't mean Bleeth was one. Bleak. Bleeth. That uh, was the brunette from Baywatch. Uh, Marla Sokoloff. She was the best friend of the one of the Tanner girls in mm -hmm. Full House. She was smoking. Gia. Uh, Gia, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Tatiana Ali, Will Smith's sister, Ashley Banks. Ooh, I forgot about that. She was smoking hot. Uh, the uh, Xenon girl, Kirst, uh, Kirsten Storms. She was in like fucking... Uh, uh, like all my children or some shit like that mm. afterwards Don't like some soap opera are. oh no dude she was on disney channel she was gorgeous oh yeah i never watched disney. okay all right well that makes sense that's why you have a uh, horrible childhood uh any of your fucking awesome child no i think it's terrible how about you jeremy do you have any carryovers or some honorable mentions nope no <laughs> vivica <laughs> fox yeah Ooh. yeah uh fuck there's plenty of them um plenty of them that i can't think of yeah, yeah. Now that I'm, I don't need to think of any. I'm, I can't. No, I'm, I'm very. But you said Candace Cameron Bure. I'm DJ. I'm, from I'm very Full proud. House. Yeah. I'm, oh yeah. I'm and very, she's even hotter actually, now. Another one, but Aunt, she's weird. Aunt Becky was fucking banging. Yeah, she was. Lori Laughlin. Oh yeah. Fuck. She Turn on was. the the Lifetime channel. She's on all those movies yeah. now. Yeah, because she needs to get some money. Yeah, uh, she was fucking smoking. Oh yeah. god damn it! Why can't I think of the fucking chick's name now? I'd have taken Courtney Cox. I'm sure you would have. <laughs> I mean, I you know, I, I liked all the Friends girls. They were all good. Great. Mm -hmm. That's great, Scotty. Yeah. Bridget Wilson. Um, you know that they wouldn't have anything to do with you. I know. Right? That's true. What, what about Bridget Nielsen? How about Cri Christine, Bridget, A Christine Aguilera, maybe? Bridget Wilson, which was uh, Mrs. Veronica Vaughn from Billy Madison. Oh, oh yeah. so hot. Want from, to touch the hiney. From... Uh, uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. yeah. She was Sonya. Yeah, Sonya Blade. Also, Talisa Soto, who was Katana in that movie. Was hot as fuck. Mm -hmm. Totally. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our draft for this week. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji of the list of the, uh, the hottest women of the 90s. Yeah, I would totally would have pick Stacey Keebler if I, my brain would have worked a little better just a little bit. I'll let bit. you have her. Do you really you, think of her as a 90s or more 2000s? She was, if she was 90s. She was, she was, was, yeah. was Miss Hancock in WCW like in 98, yeah. 97. Mm. Yeah. She was a Raven okay. cheerleader. Dal DDP's wife, Kimberly. Uh -huh. And Sable mm -hmm. is smoking hot. Sable. Too. She's married to now, uh, Brock Lesnar. Here's what's weird. DDP now is married to a woman whose first name is Paige. Which Diamond Dallas Page's mm -hmm. real first name is Page. Uh, her last name is McMahon, but not related to the McMahon family. Huh? Coincidence. It just says retired. She her bio just says retired athlete. It doesn't say in what. Mm. So I'm guessing swimming. Uh, no Filipino volleyball. 
Yeah. No, Scotty, she's Anyways. not Filipino, but she has uh, ginormous fake boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's fun when she's in on the workouts. Got it. All right, guys. Well, again, uh, votes on Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. For the for the record, oh. next week, the draft will be hottest women in their lives. Okay. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, on the evening of June 18th, 1875, uh, in Dublin, Ireland, a fire broke out at Lawrence Malone's Bonded Warehouse. And it just so happened that night that they happened to be storing... Uh, apparently, this was a unit of measurement back then. 5,000 hog heads... <laughs> hogs heads... Of, of whiskey. Nice. Uh, the equivalent of about uh, 315,200 gallons. Mm. Uh, and at approximately 9.30 p.m., a, uh, a fire broke out, and uh, a six-inch deep river of flaming hooch came flowing through the streets of Dublin, Ireland. Uh, it cost uh, millions of dollars in, or pounds, I guess, over there, whatever the fuck they use in yeah. that weird fucking leprechaun land Shanties. but uh yeah those um, are my people doubloons gold doubloons yeah uh it caused millions in damage to uh to property uh however the fire did not detour the people from coming out after they all they are irishmen uh coming out with cups and pitchers and even their boots uh filling them up with whiskey and drinking them and then filling them up again uh this uh caused a lot of severe burn injuries and resulted in 13 deaths uh, all from severe alcohol poisoning. <laughs> all of nice. it. Nice. And now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, those eyes can't smile when they're full of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Ireland. That's why we like you. That's, that's, that's fucking hardcore. That's that fucking badass. I ain't letting this shit go to waste. <laughs> I've been no. dreaming of this. That, that is some right. shit I was actually thinking about as you were reading it and discussing that. I yeah. was like, man... I'd fucking go out there, burn it or not. Uh huh. All that start whiskey. Start filling shit up on some welding yeah. gloves. Yeah. yeah. Fill that shit up. And then come to find out, me and thirteen other Irish mm -hmm. people had the same thought. Ah <laughs> uh, shit. Okay. All right. So this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation is you are going through a divorce, and somebody asks you why you got divorced, and you have to tell them. Would you rather the reason be, number one, you got caught jerking off to a Disney movie, or you both wanted to try dirty talk in the bedroom and you took it way too far? I mean, you got to tell them what you said. Well, you know. Yeah, you have to tell them. The people that ask, either mm -hmm. you were doing this or you were doing that. Yeah. Well, no, I think you got to go into detail with uh, yeah. dirty talk. Yeah, you got to tell them what you said. Yeah. Take it, you retard. You know, that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, what if it is you mistook dirty talk for just insults? <laughs> <laughs> huh. You fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm going to kick the shit out of you. <laughs> I'm going to come all over your stupid fucking face. <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> I'm going to fuck that extra chromosome out of you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you until you're normal. <laughs> There's the carrot. <laughs> oh, oh, that's awful. I wish I was doing this to your sister. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so something along those lines. Yeah. I'm taking that. That sounds way more. Uh... I'm going to put it in your ass so my dick smells better later. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the dirty talk. I think that's more fun. Oh, for sure I'm taking the dirty talk. <laughs> I don't want people thinking I'm Scotty jerking yeah. off the 14-year-old Disney princess. Hey, I didn't know. 
There's not a sign on the fucking thing. You got. Oh, they be- all show ID, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they don't. That's what that fine print at the beginning of the movie is. Those aren't credits. No. They didn't marry that young back then. Of course they did. Yeah, they did. It yeah. was arranged. I yeah. know. I'm, I'm. Remember, father's going to be upset. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> Who says that? Yeah, not I, anybody in their fucking mid twenties. <laughs> I, I would fuck Ariel, but only in fish form. <laughs> <laughs> you got to find the hole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, give that, me that sturgeon puss. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm definitely going down swinging. I. Uh, <laughs> I want the dirty talk. Because <laughs> <laughs> I. You know, some people got to, uh, to meet my wife at the live show. Uh, you guys have all heard, uh, when I'm not fucking her, I say horrible things to my <laughs> wife. So I I want to know what stroke of brilliance it was. <laughs> it broke it. That, that she just went, enough. <laughs> I've had it. I'm out. <laughs> Where the line in the sand was drawn, and mm-hmm. somehow Jeremy stepped way the fuck past that one. I want to know that line, too. Mm-hmm. So you're going to tell me about I, what it. What right? if it's just, <laughs> your mom does not do better laundry than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to say it while you're having sex. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. And she gets up and storms out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's been an excellent episode. I Conditioner love- is not better. <laughs> <laughs> Shampoo is better. It goes on first and cleans the hair. Yeah, we got it. Scott. Okay. They all got it. Um, anybody have any shows coming up anytime soon? I think nothing Derek, public. I was going to say nothing public, mm-hmm. only a private show. Mm-hmm. You're going to be doing some dancing? Absolutely. Absolutely. Dancing for money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sludge is back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Came out of retirement, back Did, to stripping. You going to put on your Chippendale uniform? No, Chips Ahoy uniform. Chips Ahoy uniform? That's yes. perfect. I like giving, it. Giving Soft lap dances, crying. I used to be funny <laughs> <Yeah>. last year. <laughs> yeah. Last year I was the funniest. Oh, They're like, shit. you're crushing my legs. <laughs> <laughs> what if you show up to work on Monday and they fire you? And, Sorry, we only wanted you for the title. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, I get called by the wind surge. You're like, hey, is Eric Von Riker free to do an announcement this year? <laughs> oh, damn. That'd be a punch in the balls. Or a kick in the shin, or something like that. Unless Derek doesn't want to do it, right? Or that. Uh, but he's sporting the uh, the new Windsor hat, though. I like yeah, it. It yeah. looks looks good. I haven't seen. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's the defenders at the ballpark kind of defenders of the diamond. Defenders yeah. of the diamond. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a horse. It is a horse. Mm-hmm. It's a horse, of Wings. course. Yeah, those are not horses. Pegasus. Right? Pegasus. That's right. Yeah, yeah, your favorite kind of SSs. Yeah, got it. Peg. Pegasus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, guys, that's been a great episode of Laughing on the Sidelines. Guys, we really do appreciate everything that you guys do. Um, Again, we do have our P.O. box, uh, which you can send us stuff for all of our uh, segment. Well, our main segment, which is uh, what's in the box. Um, And that is actually on our... Turns out a box. It's a box. A bag with Uh, a box. And again, uh, if you're going to send us something, please uh, put your your name and where you're from in there. That that helps us uh, give you a shout out as well. We may need suggestions on punishments for the wheel. That's true. Mm -hmm. That is true. We may need suggestions for punishments for the wheel. Um, But that uh, P.O. box is uh, sent to Laughing on the Sidelines at 7130 West Maple Street, Suite 230, Box 310. Wichita, Kansas, 67209. And uh, we will give you a shout out on the show. Uh, but as always, guys, thank you so much for commenting on our TikToks and all of our posts and sharing them to your friends. That helps us grow, and that's what's really important. Uh, and as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you're having to give a PowerPoint presentation at work and your internet search history accidentally goes up on the slide, and now you have to explain to everyone on the board why munting is going to increase corporate profits. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. (laughs) Shit. Until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care.